guys. Hey guys. Happy Record Store Day. Oh, uh, you know it. April 22nd, 2023. We're in the heart of Greenwich Village on Thompson Street in front of Generation Records. Hudson's now, here. Hudson, Mixmaster Hudson. He's got his Notice headphones. James. Turn his oh. headphones on. Turn, turn your headphones on. Turn your headphones on, Hudson. Up. We gotta wait. We gotta wait because it's not quite two o'clock yet. We're Guys, a little early. Thompson. Just we north of Bleecker. James, set the Generation scene. Generation Records packed in there. Set the scene for Record Store Day, yep. James. Temperature. Yeah. yeah, it's 64 degrees out here. Greenwich Fahrenheit. Village. We're looking south here towards Bleecker. This is looking north towards Washington Square Park. This is looking uh, west at all the pollen on the cars. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Pollen. Let's go, George. You know how we're doing. George up in the moderator booth, flicking the lights on, turning on the coffee pot, now, laying out the hors d'oeuvres. Record. Let me tell you a little bit about Record Store Day, in case you were not aware. Record Store Day celebrates the culture of independently owned record stores. And it was started in 2007. So now here it is, 2023, and we're still celebrating independently owned record shops. And we're gonna highlight a couple of them today. We're starting at Generation Records. And a few years ago, we did a, not a, I don't think it was a live stream. I don't think we were live streaming then. Um, on Record Store Day, the guys from Agnostic, um, Front, Front were yep. here, right? You got it. And they were playing, and Hudson met them too. Yep. And Vinny it was, Stigma. Right, Vinny Stigma, extra, extra. Got good. to hang out with him. So, I mean, today, you know, there's scaffolding covering, so you can't see. Yeah, you don't get a real beauty, uh, let me beauty just, picture of it. Let me just show you. There's a lot of. I think there's a lot of music playing inside, right, yeah, but James? You can just peek in the door. But I'll peek in the door. I can't. You know, I can't because of um, you know, copyright things. I can't really um you know, go crazy with going inside a lot of the record stores. We'll have to look from, from afar. I'll go in and then come back out. But let me show you. This record store has a relic from the old Bleecker Street Records. Do you see that? There it is. Bleecker Street Records. Now, Bleecker Street Records was another favorite of ours. I mean, sadly, a lot of vinyl record stores in New York City that James and I went to back in the yeah, late, 80s. late 80s, yeah, early 90s, even into the 2000s closed. There's still a lot of record stores in business in New York City. So don't think that vinyl is dead. Au no. contraire, yeah. vinyl is back. There was baby. a period of time where it fell out of favor, yeah. but it's back, baby. And this year, vinyl record sales overtook yeah, um, every CD. CDs for like yeah. the first time in like forever. Yeah. So why don't you mute it and just do a quick walk? Yeah, upstairs. guys, I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute just the sound because upstairs. they're playing music inside. I can't ask them on record store day to turn it down, but I want to show you the lovely uh, store. So I'm going to mute it. Bear with me. OK, and then you'll come back out. Hey, HG teacher, Igor Fernandez, gorgeous, ready. Phoenix. Alan, the homie, food and fun is ready. Keith Haven, Southern Bell, HG Phoenix. teacher, DC322, Kathy R, Busy B, NY, Annie Dennis, Stuart Bryce, Paul Raviski, Kiana Maria, Stupid Cat even, DC322. Stupid Cat's in the house. Dean X, Mary Cad. So yeah, th guys, cat. I'm going to go inside, but I have to t turn down the mic, OK? So bear with me.
So yeah. Any of those, right? I, I, like we, why don't you go take a look? Go take a look. Yeah, so G James is going to go inside and take a look at the record store they releases. I just wanted to show you the inside of the store. They have music playing, so I couldn't, I had to mute it. But don't you love the RCA doggy? They're dog friendly in here too. They know Mixmaster Hudson. He's ready. He's got his, he's got his headphones on. Yeah, it wasn't buffering. It, I had to mute the sound because it's record store day. I'm not going to ask them to turn down the, the uh, mic, you know, the uh, music playing in their store. It's a record store. They can't, mute, they can't mute it on record store day, that's for sure. But they had a lot of gems. And James, check out on the wall. Do you see? Look at the clash. Yeah, yeah. Can you see? They're all standing right there. Larry Levine. Levin, Levin, Levin. Guys, we're gonna head over to no, show. Look yep. at the shirt I'm wearing. Yep. I got my turntable. Yep. And it. for those in the know who know who th what this is. Yep, we got that too. Yeah. Actually, let's give a portograph to the yeah, first yeah. person yep. who knows what this means. Yep. Yeah. So I'll let me that. go inside. Guys, let's see what's in the window here. Bad brains, like the new mural on Bleecker Street, remastered, reissued. Hopefully everybody's having a nice Saturday. Welcome aboard, guys. Oh, how cute Hudson is wearing his headphones. Mary Cad, no. No, they don't have it. Yeah, I didn't think they would here. I, I don't. This is more hardcore. So yeah. guys, Let's this throw. place, this place is great for punk, a punk hardcore, hardcore heavy, metal. heavy metal. But they're not really into Taylor the. Swift. You know, well, I mean, they have a couple of like popular artists too. I but saw someone coming out with the Taylor Swift. Yeah, the Taylor Swift is like the big seller. But we're going to go to another record store you know who we're going right to. now. You know, if you watched our channel before, we got a bagel. We, you know who we're going to. We're going to Jamal's. Jamal is a, um, a Palestinian immigrant. He came to the United States. He didn't speak a word of English. And he opened up his record store on Bleecker Street. It was called Vil Village Music World. It, he's renamed it Village Revival Records. But if you look at our Instagram, at James and Carla, just the same as our YouTube channel, on Instagram, you could see what the record store looks like today. We also highlighted a record store of the past, which is um, Bleecker Bob's Records. Yep. Now, before we leave, um, Generation Records. One of the main reasons why I wanted to highlight Generation Records is I want to give a special shout out to our channel supporter, Alan Levy. Yes, Alan Levy. Alan Levy, because Alan told us that Generation Records was one of the first record stores that he went shopping with he did. with his son. Yep. So we wanted to shout out to Alan and highlight Generation yeah. and of course Mixmaster Hudson. Yes. And they had the Clash, like this. Yeah, same t shirt. And they had the Clash on record on the wall. I showed it inside. Yeah. Awesome. Guys, we're in Village. The kids love Greenwich Village. Right, so now we're literally going basically almost around the corner. The kids love the Greenwich On Bleecker Street. And we're going to go to Jamal's amazing record store, awesome. Village yeah. Revival. Yeah. Village awesome. Revival. Whoa. Taylor Swift just did three concerts in Tampa at Raymond James Thurman where the nice. Bucks play. All three nice. concerts completely you? sold out. Oh, extra good. Now, Jamal, there's Jamal. I see Jamal. Jamal has, is the owner of Village Revival and he has every record store day release. So, Generation oh, Records. Generation <laughs> Records had a very limited selection of Record Store Day releases. But Jamal ordered everything. He told us. We, we, we saw him the other day. I bet Hudson is good on the decks. Exactly. He's good on the one and twos. Yeah, he's good on the one and twos. DC322 loves the Clash. I'm wearing their classic shirt. Yeah, we're Clash fans, guys. You know that. From when they sold out at the Bond. Yep. Bond and is, yep. it created this Times big, Square. right, the bond to Times Square. They created yep. this big controversy. They sold way too because, many tickets. Right, they sold way, so way more tickets the than they actually. Punk fashion. They had, they sold way. James is just talking right over me. They sold way more tickets than they actually had. And so. Everyone goes their own. Place. 
The Clash did something unheard of, and now you can tell the rest of the story. Yeah, they, they, they played to honor all the tickets. It ended up being like 17 nights. Right, because... It was you only know, supposed to be like five nights. Right, they would never but ever, the, the, that would never the ever happen. The promoters outsold it. Right. The, that would, instead of turning people away. That would never ever happen in no. modern no, day. Masks. You know, because everything is computerized now. Yeah. But back then, it created this big thing and the Clash was so good to their fans and they didn't want their fans to do right. without. They didn't. Are you getting U2 and Madonna? Hannah Murray, that is on our list. It's on the list. U2 and Madonna and Larry uh, Levin. If they have it. If, if Jamal has it. It's a, they did not have it at Generation Records, but I didn't expect them to have it anyway because no. Generation Records is more for hardcore punk, uh, heavy metal. You know, um, that's, that's what they specialize in. So here we are outside Village Revival Records. They're, they got their store branding. They got the store branding. Let me show you outside of Village Revival Records because this is an amazing record store. They have every release for Record Store Day. So let's go see where Jamal is. Jamal. James, you're gonna. Why don't you stay out here? I'm gonna go find Jamal. He's probably in the back. Let's see if he like if he was able to ask, look, ask for Taylor Swift folklore at the counter. So they do. They do. Yes. They do have Taylor Swift, guys. They do. So. What's your big uh, record store day release? Yeah, Taylor is that the b biggest seller so far today? The Taylor Swift. How about Larry Levin? 1975. No, because I think we sold out. We have uh -oh. a lot of people ask about that. Oh, oh, all right, well, right, well, let's call talk to Jamal. Because yeah. I can't go in, it, it will oh, buffer. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Larry, huh? Larry <laughs> Levin. <laughs> no, Larry Levin. He um, oh, did yeah. the Paradise Garage when it was a big nightclub here. Oh, he was the DJ. Okay. And uh, he recently passed away. i got to get our record store bag out of your bag. Uh, oh, record store bag? What? Yep. You guys are set up. Yeah. We're all set. Ready to go. Exactly. We're all set. We got uh, Jamal a bagel. Oh, you got Jamal a bagel. Yeah. yeah. We, we knew he'd be hungry. Yeah. Because he probably stayed up yeah. all night, right? With cream cheese. At least two. Right. Uh, everything bagel. We requested an everything bagel with cream cheese. With cream cheese. We got it from a, uh, Tompkins Square Bagels. They have the best bagels, I think, in New York City. Whoa. I gotta check it out. Have you guys ever heard of the Paradise Garage? Yeah. You did. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's where he used to spin. Wow. Danny Crivet. Okay. He lives in our building. Oh yeah. Really? Francois K. Have you heard of him? Yeah. These are all uh, like late '80s, early '90s DJs. And he came out. Larry Levin came out with a two-record set for Record Store Day. Yeah. Yeah. His yeah, estate, obviously. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my uh, my my shirt here is from A1 Records. Did you get over there yet? No, no. Oh, guess who spun there yesterday? Questlove. Really? Yep. Wow. You gotta get one of these. I know. He <laughs> gave right. us one, but it was too small for me. Uh, How are you? Happy so record store pizza day. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. You. Happy record store day. Earth Day. Earth Day. Earth Day. Yes. Earth Day, birthday. How many years is it Earth Day? Wow. Wow. Yes, definitely wear that, Stephanie Stearns. We saw that. Where is Beatnik CD and vinyl? Um, that is in, oh, this one. This one's in Montreal. <laughs> nice. definitely helps me. So, yeah, I, you're not going to make it there today. Not today. We did buy Massive Attack's Mezzanine on release day in Montreal. Okay, that's cool. Back in 90, what was it, 94? Uh-huh. So that was cool. Nice. I like it up there. Pretty times. It's a, it's a nice city. Yep. It's a lot of fun. It's very relaxing. Yeah. 
Are you getting any record store day releases this um, time? Yeah, yeah, I got one here and got a bunch of generation. Nice. Yeah, it's overall been pretty decent. Yep. Except for the massive time expense that it is. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's like records, right? Uh, you know, it's not. It's not the same as regular record shopping where you go in and you browse and it's Oh, we spend hours. Fun. This is like you go in with a list, you know, like, right. where's this, where's this? Right. It's, I find it actually very stressful. It is. I do not like it, but then, you know, there are things that I feel like I want to have. You know, right. This is the only way to ensure it. You ever get over to A1 Records? Um, yeah, yeah. I For haven't used. actually gone there in a long time. When they first opened, I like, cleaned them out. Yep. Because they had some... <laughs> Somebody's really amazing um, European New Wave 12 inch collection. Oh, nice. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, you take care. Enjoy the day. Guys, welcome aboard. This is looking uh, west down Bleecker. Carla's inside with Jamal right now. Uh, checking out what they got for record store day. I'm sure she'll be in there with you in a minute. This is looking south towards Florida, I guess you could say, and this is looking north towards Montreal. Welcome aboard, everybody. Let's see what they got in the window. There's Lou Reed, Transformer. George Michael Older. Let's see if we could spot Carlo way back in there. There she's coming. See her. Okay. Right. Yeah, come on this over. This is important, guys. Yep. Yep. You got the Taylor Swift. He's got the Taylor Swift. Okay. Yep. Not so into that. come in. This is not what we're purchasing. I want to just yep. highlight the popular sellers. Okay. Yep. You got it. Taylor Swift. Yep. That's an old one. That's an old one. Yep. I just, I just. This is new. I just brought that yep. out. Yeah. This it's is narrow today's there, release. Yep. yep. Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's the new Pearl Jam, right? New Pearl Jam. Release of uh, Yield. Extra, extra good. With the live recording. That's a great album. Yeah, really great. Yep. The Cure. Nice, The Cure. 50th anniversary, this first is a, time on two LP picture disc. Yep. Remastered by Robert Smith. Yep. It looks really awesome. Yep. Look how you can and see. And Jamal's favorite, The Stones. Yeah, but look how you can see. Look how they did the yep. cutout so you can see yep. how they did that. Yep. I don't want anybody to think these are like on the dollar bin. No. And then The Rolling Stones. This yeah, is another. Beggar's Banquet. Exclusive limit 180 gram guys. Yep. Look, swirling mass of gray, blue, black, oh. and white with a poster Does he have and our, original uh, gay full dog. He has it aside. He said it, there's a line out the door, so gotcha. we're he not said gonna get to us. Yeah, we're gonna. So we, he said don't walk around with everything now because you're gonna be walking around that will will we'll, okay. We'll, we'll come back. I'll get I'll pick up the Madonna and the YouTube with the Larry you put aside for us. Okay. Okay. So let gotcha. me put these back. Hey, David Lehman. Hey, Mighty Bull. Pookie Smith in the house. Pearl Jam Yield. That looks like a great release, I thought. Yeah. George Michael Older. Welcome aboard, everybody. Record Store Day 2023, April. Allergies in play. Say that. We'll say that. There's the scene inside there. Jamal, popping it out. How you doing? Good. How's your record store day going? It's pretty good. 
What'd you get today? Um, if you don't mind. Yeah. I got Joan Jett, of course. Of course, nice. I don't have Beautiful. this one yet. Beautiful. Yellow vinyl. Nice. That's um, an excellent, excellent album. Had to get the cure. Of course. Record store day. There's a lot nice. of good songs on this one. Oh yeah. And then for my friend I got the Taylor one. Oh nice. Yeah. Because she was looking for it. That's a nice set. Yeah. That's great. Have you been over to Record Runner yet? I didn't go because I called them and I was like, "Do you have Joan Jett?" And they said, yeah. "No." So yeah. I was like, oh, no. He's um, he usually just wants you there in person. Yeah. So if you call him, he'll say no to a lot of stuff. Yeah. Just because it's crowded. Yeah. Maybe I will. <laughs> but um, and then A One is one of our favorites. Yeah, I was there this morning. She's got all her. She got the cure. Yeah. Oh, she got the cure that yeah. we just yeah. showed, nice. showcased. Oh, nice. extra good. Nice. What else did you get? Yeah, here we go. Joan. We did the rundown. Oh. George, Joan Jett. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then Taylor from my friend. Of course, of course. Nice. And I mean, I think it's a hard one to find, right? Because yeah. that's yeah, going to been to a bunch of stores, and she's like, yeah. if they have it, just get it for me. Get it, exactly. Yeah, get it exactly. while it's hot. Exactly. <laughs> Jamal has everything, guys. So for Record Store Day, this is. <laughs> It's called Village Revival. I know that the, the, the awning says Village Music World. He's working on that. He will get a new awning eventually, but he's just been so busy with Record Store Day that, you know, I mean, I kind of like the old, you know, uh, you know, it says lasers. Right, who, who uses laser discs anymore? So it kind of shows its, right, it kind of shows its age, you know, with the lasers on there. So I kind of like it in a way. It's got character. It, it does have character. My dad but, likes it. It's, 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 uh, it's vintage. Yeah, yeah it's vintage. vintage. It's vintage. See, Village Revival Records, this is where we are. 197 Bleecker Street. It's right off 6th Avenue. Guys, 6th Avenue is this way. Okay, and then you turn around and then you got Thompson Street and the heart of Greenwich Village steps away from Washington Square Park, NYU dumb, as I call it, NYU dumb, because NYU owns all the buildings around Washington Square Park for the, for the most part. And Jamal has it. He's going to be open. What time you guys open till tonight? <laughs> midnight. Midnight. Guys, so you have to midnight to get the exclusive Record Store Day releases here at Village Music World. Village Music World, you got it. Vill I mean, I call it, it's really called Village Revival Music, but the sign says Village Music World, so we'll just, you know, say all the names because yeah. you, we don't want you to get confused. But and if you gave his bagel. Right, if we gave uh, Jamal his everything bagel and cream cheese from Tompkins Square Bagels so he can make it through at least another hour. I mean, it's, it, it, there's a lot of lines in there. Let me just show you. Do you see? It's really long and narrow, and there's a long line of people shopping. It's extra, extra, extra good. You see it all? Laser discs are the museum of failure in Brooklyn. Oh my God. Now, most importantly is Mixmaster Hudson. Look at him. He's wagging his tail. He's happy like for record one. store day. Yeah, He's got his headphones on. He's the Mixmaster. Look at him. He's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and they even have used vinyl records, so it's not just new vinyl here. You can look through, they have some gems. Look, see, four LPs for, for $10. You might find some, you know, oldies but goodies. There's some other Record Store Day releases from the past, but they have all the new Record Store Day releases. Any rem one remember the old school 45s? Of course, we have some 45s and we have some seven inches. So guys, don't work too hard, but we're, we're wishing yeah, you- stay hydrated. Yeah, we'll stay hydrated. Uh, we, we, we hope that, you know, this, honestly, for record store day, it's a big day for, for independently owned record stores because sometimes it's like bigger, it's a really bigger than Christmas is. It's like the Christmas for record a stores. Sales. A yeah. lot of sales. The bottom like, line. Right. This is when they can maybe go into the green for the year, not not the red. <laughs> so we're wishing our best to Jamal at Village Revival Music. Come check him out because he's got all the record store day releases. Thank you. Yep. Oh, bye guys. Stay hydrated. Good. Now we go down, down, right here. Right. So look, guys. Village this is Revival. where you got to go. 
Village Revival. Viv Village Revival Records. Yep. This is always a, a favorite of mine. Hudson is inquisitive. Exactly. Adriana the Rodriguez. Old record run, asked if you had, um, Patty? Uh, Taylor Swift and yes, he didn't. Yes, he said no. But right. I'm like, a lot of times he'll say no because he's overwhelmed and he has right. enough people there to sell it out. Exactly. So maybe you could go over there and check it out. But So do you want to head over there? No. Oh, okay. No, because we, we got what well, Jamal has all three, right? Yeah, Jamal put it put it aside for us. He said come back he later showed tonight. You Larry. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, I'm just kidding. Here, get across this way. And guys, Jamal's uh, prices are just prices like you would find at any independently owned record store day for, oh, we didn't for check records. Jeff Baker. We'll check on that later. Yeah, it was just too, it was just way too crowded, and I didn't want to get in the way. But is Hudson not going to have a dinner date with his girlfriend? Dinner date. You know, Hudson. Hudson's a. He's a bon vivant. He He's a ladies' man. He has He's many a, friends. He's a ladies' man. I think we should go to this little park across the well, way and just gonna, just have some water for a yeah, second gonna, on Downing now we Street. Go down Downing Street to yeah, there. I can use some water after that Oops. excitement, James. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got Whoa, they got they came really close. Yeah. Surfboard says. Come down that street, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, let me know if I saw that uh, things were a little unstable. Can you let me know if you can hear me again, James? We might need your phone. Okay. Yeah, have some water. Gotcha. Bar pity. Across the street. Might have ended. No, they could. No. I don't know where my phone is. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, I got it. Yep. Because I haven't seen anything. Okay, guys, let us know if you could hear us. We're doing good out here. We're back. Guys, let us know. We're checking our other phones, see if we still have service. Let me point this way. No, it looks no. pretty. This way. Would be better. Okay, yeah, no, we're back. Five, eight, six thousand K. No, that doesn't mean much. Maybe we're in the double chat zone. Okay, yeah, I think... Oh, yep, they can hear us, but I, I guess we lost our chat. We're in the double chat zone. Double phone, Carla. Two phone, Carla. Double chat. It's like double mint gum. Two times the fun, looking at two phones. Bar Pity is always busy over there. The last... Thing. Just hold that. Sure. The last thing I see, look here, yep. is all the way. Good. But they up can here. hear us now. So maybe sometimes it comes back. Remember? So why yes, don't you... yes. There you go. This way. So that way. Yep. Yes, yes. It'll come back. So let me have some water, being that I can't read the chat right now anyway. Yep. And just Guys, we're in front of 10 Downing Street. James, why don't you show Bar Pity? Because that's yeah, that's always spot. real busy in this beautiful tenement building over there. Every time of year you come by, people are out front there in front of Old Bar Pity. P-I-T-T-I on 6th Avenue of Bleecker. Just off Bleecker, really. You know how we do. We fly by the seat of our pants, right, honey? There's a nice white make can over there, Porsche. You know, we're going along. Saturday. Right. Hudson's doing his bit for Earth Day. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to... Fertilizing. Look at the chat here. Yeah. Looks looks like they're playing pickleball over yeah, there. Yeah, it's two phone Carla. Two exactly. Phone. Two phone Carla. Look, they're playing pickleball, I think. That's what all the kids are into now. 
I'm up on all the leaders. Look, pickleball. Ah. Pickleball, I see that. Isn't this beautiful though? I love this old building. Isn't that gorgeous? Extra good. Deano says when Carla speaks, people listen. Oh God. Well, Hudson listens yeah. because it could mean, it could mean, oh, I got to fix this, James, number Colin one. Is back. That was showing up in the corner. Colin is a factor today for James. Look at this little doorway. Look at this, honey. Oh, look at that. Them little bastards are in there enjoying it. Oh, it's a beautiful day in, in, in the village. Guys, so now we are approaching Houston Street. I hear them We're going to be, Houston Street is a dividing line of Greenwich Village to the neighborhood of Soho. And actually this part of Soho used to be called the South Village. Yes, yeah, South Because Village. Greenwich Village actually extended, originally extended south of Houston Street. Oh, look at this little pocket park. Oh, look at this pocket park, as James is saying. This is adorable. Look at this, such little triangular park. Should we go in? I like, I yeah, like walking through. It's a beautiful day out. Everything is blooming. She clicks bricks is saying hello to James Carla. What a nice day. And Sierra Savannah saying hi. Alex Burrell says Jimmy is down with the kids. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I got my finger on the Andy post, guys. Andy Wood really likes all these little mini parks. Yeah, yeah it's adorable, right? It's really nice that there's so much green space. I mean, I like this block. It, I want to just show you a, a little architectural gem. I want to show you an architectural gem. Yeah. An architectural gem that actually has a purpose. Now, you see these little decorative stars on the building here? James, can you hold this for a second and yeah, look at the chat? It. Look at the chat. You got it. I'm going to zoom. RJ Wertheimer says there's snow in Colorado. Just letting you know. Okay, I, I put it in the center of the screen. Do you see that star in the center of the screen? Yeah. Now, you might think that that's just an adornment on a building, but that actually... Ankle. That actually has a purpose. It helps hold the building together. It's like where there's a, a beam that yeah, helps. ties it all together. Right, that ties. It's, it's the end of a beam that holds the whole structure together. So I wanted to point that out. And I like how this, it's a cool building, has it wraps around yeah. the corner like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a corner building. Yeah, look at that one, it has a roof deck. Yep. Yep. Oh, I think we might structural support. Hey, our chat's back. That's wonderful news. Yeah. Guys, I can read the chat back on the phone. It just magically came back. It's like a weird, it's a weird thing kismet. that that happens. It's kismet. Yeah, now these are also structural supports, but they're not stars. Yep. They put little circles. Yep. Yep. Now look yeah, at this old nice. beauty. Wow. Oh. We just got $4.99 from Greg B. Get my buddy Hudson a hot dog. Okay. Oh, Greg B. We can do that. We can accomplish that. Hudson. Hudson, come on Hudson, now. Greg B. wants to get you a hot dog. What do you think? You like hot dogs, Greg? Hudson? Would you like a hot dog? With your headphones? Would you like a... Would you like a hot dog? All you saw was Jimmy's hand for a second. Nice. Well, look at this gem. The production value J&K are known for. Thank you, Greg B. That's awfully sweet of you. Yeah. We will definitely get Greg Hudson B, a treat. <gasps> look at this. Look at this is number 12. And look at number 12 and a half. Check that out, James. Alex Burrell just sent us five pounds. Alex Burrell, five pounds. Fantastic thank job. Thank you, Alex Burrell. We're in front of number and 12 and a half. Thank you, Greg B. Look Greg B. And yep. and right in front of Extra 12 and a half, good. Alex Burrell. Hope the crack is good today. Let's give Hudson a treat. How's I the think, crack? I think that deserves Hudson getting a treat. Yeah, Hudson gets a treat right here. Here, let me go this way. Ready? Yep. Catch. 
Oh, nope, it bounced off his nose. Watch it, honey. There Come on go. in. He All got right, it. One more. Catch. What's on? What's with you today? Hudson's stumbling. Up. All right. He's slipping. He's falling, and he can't get up. There we go. Nice. There we go. Nice job, Huds. Oh, I like this over here. This looks cool. Look at this. Look at this old like shop front, storefront, home. Look at that. Extra good. Look, cool? you are not a drop in the ocean. You are an ocean in a drop. Huh. Yeah. Now we take a left on down. Hope they are a service hotel. Yeah, it was just that corner for some unknown reason. It was strange, right, James? That's how we roll on Downing Street. Oh, look at this cutie. Hi. How are you oh, guys? Look at Hudson's making a new friend. Oh, hi. Oh, See, record, record Store Day and Earth Day is also Make a New, new, make a new Doggy yeah, Friend like Day. Look at art. Andrew Newbell said Hudson committed two errors. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for the support. Look at this building here. It's beautiful, right over here. Oh, right yeah. Look at this one, guys. This looks like an old horse stable, James. Does, right? Look at it. Tassie Garage. Oh, it probably was a horse stable. Yeah. See, look at the, the top. It I says Tassie it. Garage on it. Yeah. I don't know if half, you guys can see that. Let me zoom in. Half green. I bet it was an old horse stable. It looks like it was, right? Yep. Those kind of doors. Yeah, they do. 45 Downing Street. And look at this one. Yeah, look at this cute. imposing uh, yeah. face. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at a horse above the, on the keystone. Yes, this was a horse stable because you could see the horse on the keystone. Yep. James, extra good. Good point. Let yeah. me show you. Look at James wow. pointed out. Sorry. It must have been a horse stable. A lot of these buildings are old horse stables. Look at that, guys. It's also National Beagle Day. Oh, Snoopy. Delmar Beagle. Snoopy. Delmar Beagle. Nice call. One of our wonderful Patreon and YouTube members, Radhika, is a big fan of Snoopy. So, Radhika, if you're out there, happy National Beagle Day. Happy Snoopy Day. Nice job. Wow, Downing Street is lovely. Wouldn't you say, James? I love it. Adriana Rodriguez says, I love all these details that the buildings have. Yeah, that's why we like to show you the details. Always cool. look up, guys. Look up, look down on the ground. Sometimes you see interesting things on the sidewalk. In New York City, you gotta keep your eyes peeled. You snooze, you lose. Yeah. Look at this old door. Look at that old, old old door knocker. Yeah. Look at that knocker. You snooze, you lose. Look at this. Ironworks. This was an old ironworks building. Kind of yeah, I think this was a restaurant and then it went out of business. But they it up. Yeah. yeah, but it's really cool. Yeah, it is. I love the shutters, don't you? Yeah, the shutters are awesome. Yeah. The Let me show you the shutters, guys. See the sh old shutters? I love them. They're metal, guys. Yeah, they look like they're dry brush. They're Got solid the metal. Got the white wash on there, Southern gal said, it's, a, it's okay that Hudson missed catching those. Even the greats have their days. Yeah. You know, like a baseball player. It's yeah. not like they, they, they bat home runs every day, you know? Oh, here we are. Oh, wow, you can see the Woolworth building, guys. Check it out. In the, in the, yep. so which, uh, this way then? Yep, down to spring. Oh, he's always looking for food. The Hudster. 
Oh, the old film forum. Yeah, you want to show that? You guys, we're on West, West, West Houston now. We're on West Houston at Varick Street, guys. They named the river after Hudson. Oh, exactly. We oh, we can cross now. We're gonna head west, guys. We're gonna we're and gonna go south. into the western fringes of Soho. Fringe. Wow, I hear the big engine on Olivia this Pontiac. Olivia Dunham. Yeah. That's a G6, right? G6. That didn't sell. That didn't sell. Uh, power dome on the front. I see that. Sorry, but 45 Downing was built in 1910. Ambrose Chamber Pot. Oh, thank you for that info. Oh, Shirley's saying happy Saturday. Hey, happy Shirley. Saturday. Happy Saturday to you, too. Uh, which street do you want to go down? Oh, we have to go down Spring. Up here. Down Spring. Perfect. Can't stop, won't stop. Look at how this provided light to the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's you all see secure. that? Provided you break light. In there either. Well, they tried with that yeah, one. They broke that. out the they window, broke the there. window there. Yeah. Now look at the name of this street, appropriately named King King Street for King Hudson. The art yeah. and illustration of Larry Whitler just sent us four ninety nine. Hey guys, today is also international. Fair Le Bees Day. So give an air kiss to Hudson from Marvin uh, and me. Oh, let's do that. Let's go. Give it to me. Right here under the King Street because we're yeah. at the King. King Street. Hudson's the King. Art and the illustration, Larry Whitner. Fantastic job. Air kisses. I'll give him a real kiss. Yeah, now two air kisses. One, one on each side. There we go. <laughs> it's like cheesecake. Thank you, Larry. Oh. <laughs> Larry Whitler, fantastic job. Say extra, hi to Robin. Extra good. Larry and Robin. And guys, what is this, spring? check out um check out the art and check out the channel by the art and illustration of Larry Whitler. He on his channel has a video of him creating a Hudson portrait. Yeah, you you heard right. That's right, that, that wasn't a that wasn't a misstep. He painted a portrait of beautiful boy Hudson. So check that out because he has a video of him actually working on the portrait and then he mailed it to us and on our channel is the unboxing of it. Hey look, it says Hudson. Look at that, Hudson Square Canvas. Look at it, it says Hudson on it. Oh my God, Hudson. Hudson. Oh. Yeah. Hudson. Yeah, it says his name. Hudson. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Nice job. Hudson Square Canvas. This is a courtyard by Marriott. Yeah. Wow. Hudson. Yeah, I see all the Hudson. That's huts. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's windy, guys, today. Who's looking out the streets of the city? Da, na, 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 Everybody na, knows it's windy. Na, 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 you don't even have to tell them. Everyone knows it's windy. Da, na, 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 na. Do you want to go to uh, Hudson Street? Sure. Instead of Broadway? Because it's yeah, kind of boring. Yeah, Broadway's kind of, you know, no, very. Yeah, but that was boring, isn't yeah. it? Look at that. New syrups. Lavender visit vanilla. Or rose cardamom. Wow, that Cardamom. sounds nice. Yep. This is an independently owned uh, coffee shop. Cardamom. Yep. Hey, Mark Wren is checking in. And Cole says, we should make a game that plays like Hungry, Hip Hungry Hungry Hippos. But instead of hippos, it's Hudson. Instead of the white marble, it's hot dogs. Oh, oh yeah. now you're talking. Hungry Hungry Hudson. Now you're talking. Hudson likes that idea. Yeah. Excellent, excellent idea. Oh, yeah, sure. I think we uh, shot something. I think we shot something. Yeah, we had, an, we had a uh, architectural shoot on this block. You're absolutely right. 
wow, the temperature is cooler here. It's almost like you need a jacket. I mean, I'm okay, but like, yeah, it it's, so hot. it's much uh, cooler over here than it was in Greenwich Village. Yeah. Soho is cooler, guys. It's too hot. So guys, we're walking to Western Soho because we want to walk on Hudson Street. Should I put my little jacket? Yeah. I think I'm going to put my jacket back on. Guys, look at this. We're on a... Uh... Hi, we're going to go to Hudson Street. Yep. Charleston, uh, Charlton Street. Down here in lower, lower... You don't need yours, right, Jim? No. No. Guys, pollen. Pollen life. New York City. Carlos putting her sweatshirt on. Hudson's observing. The sweatshirt. Hey, Rev Jen. Hi, Rev Jen. How are you? Welcome aboard, Rev Jen. You've got vlogs. CAK813 as always. Great to have you aboard today. Carlos having some water. Hudson has his headphones. And off we go. Yeah, the pollen's a factor for James. Hey, what are they filming over here? Oh. The Hamptons. Project name, the Hamptons. Wow. Oh, Jack Rab, oh, good to see hey, you back in the chat. Jack I hope I hope you're um, doing well. I know you had some uh, some testing, medical testing and everything done. I hope everything is okay. Up to snuff. Say, um, say hello to the Hudster, Jack. The Hudster, he's got his headphones on. We're heading down a very special place, right, hon? Joseph Taylor's in the chat. Joseph Taylor, we, we're headed down to a special place that I know Joseph Taylor will appreciate. Wow. So Joseph Taylor, st stay tuned because our one of our destinations for today is a special place that we know that you will enjoy seeing. Hey Wild Bill, hey Wolfgang Productions. Wolfgang Productions sent us a beautiful, we're, getting, uh, we're having it framed, a beautiful, beautiful uh, drawing, drawing of a Hudson-like storefront, Pizza basically, yeah. with, a, with, a Carla, with, a, with a Carla's puzzle shop yeah. and a James's camera it's store. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it's extra, extra good. We put it up on our community page, the picture of it, but now we have the actual drawing. Uh, Wolfgang Productions, a.k.a. Luna Star, sent it to us. And we're having it framed, and it's going to go up on our Hudson Wall of Fame. No, Stephanie, I haven't seen John PS30 around, but you know he he could be traveling. Who you know? Sometimes people pop in and out at different times. You know, it's not like it's not like we live stream on a sketch schedule. Sometimes we're earlier. Sometimes we're later. So people catch us whenever they can. Now, here's the, you could see the top of the spire of the World Trade Center, One World Trade Center. Everybody's welcoming Jack Rab back in the chat. Extra good, Jack. Good to have you back. Jack is back. Hey, we had big news from Dolly Girl Twins, who's traveling right now. Traveling. Oh, we can go this way. Wow, look at this old... You didn't want to stay on Hudson yeah, Street? Yeah. No, because we're making a left. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was more interesting. No. Oh, okay. There was a lot of construction. Oh, gotcha. I saw it coming up. It's going to be noisy. The building says Hudson on it. Yes, because we're on Hudson Street. We're turning off Hudson Street and we're headed to Greenwich. Look, Hudson Dental. Hudson Street Dental. Yeah. Yeah, 
guy just all new smell stuff. For the Hudster, right guys? They said they didn't know that Hudson was such a big shot real estate, um, you oh, know. yeah, tycoon. Oh yeah, Hudson's a real estate tycoon, exactly. Yeah, you, there's a lot of things you don't know about Hudson. The only Hudson that is interesting is the one you're walking with, Andy Woods saying. He, he plays it close to the vest. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look, those have the stars too. Look, yeah. guys, there's more look stars the on this Look at above the windows. Building. Those are old windows. Yeah. The lintels. Look at the stars. Wow. That are help holding the building together. Aren't those yeah. cool? Yeah, those are cool. And those old, old windows down below. Yeah, that's an older building. Yeah. Now, guys, if this is, I want to show you something that you may not have realized is in New York City. So you're going if right you there. live in New York and you don't have, and you missed your package of UPS, like, of UPS you can pick up your package here on the west side in Soho. This is, is it a hassle, you bet. It's a hassle, but this is the UPS oh, you bet. Uh, shipping center. So this is where all the trucks that deliver the packages around New York City uh, originate from. So if if you failed all the delivery attempts, like that they can't deliver the package that was sent to you via UPS, you must come here to pick it up. And I guess it was about, gosh, it must have been over 15 years ago or so. We were getting a shipment of books. We were having our, our storefront book came out and we were not home to get our to get our shipment of books. And we had to come here to pick it up and we had to walk home with it. And we, we ordered 20 books and they weighed seven pounds each. And it was not fun carrying all those home. Well, it was good work though. Test the will. It was, it was. So now, Joseph Taylor, the reason why I wanted to um, say, make sure you stay in tune is we have some, a building with a very interesting history coming up. But first, we're gonna just show you the One World Trade Center in the distance here. There we go, you can see it. I gotta zoom in. I see the Oculus. Yeah, you can see the Oculus. Let's just stay across the street for now, James. Just like we thought. Now, one of the things that we've been working on, if you're, if you're new to our channel, I'm, I'm Carla, next to me is James. Most importantly, Mixmaster Hudson. Yeah, on the one and twos. You have to say on the one and twos. On the one and twos. Now, one of the things that James and I have been busy with. Oh, look, James, is this in the uh, Toyota's ready for the uh, off road? What do you think? Yeah, they got it all out there. Wow, this Toyota, this Toyota's decked. It's a TRD. It is an off road one. Yeah. Wow, look at them. They got the things for the. Uh, and look, a dog. The mud. A like, dog hole. Yeah, but look at the mud. Yeah. They from Vermont they got a they got a uh, they're ready oh, to wow. dig themselves out yeah so let's talk about that from over here right so guys okay, maybe over here. one of the things that we James and I've been working on is oh, not only not only do we have a book coming out this year called storefront NYC but James and I've been working on hold on wait for the truck to go by another book project that's going to be coming out in fall 2024 and it's called the great bars of new york city and this is one of the places that we're going to be including in our book it's called ear in and i'm going to just show you from the side ear in and it's housed in a very historic home you see this the low little building right there with the neon sign ear in now ear in opened in 1817 However, this federal style um, townhouse, you see, it's just two, like two stories with a dormer. You see it, it's very, very tiny, right there in the center of the frame. It's a federal style townhouse. It's known as the James Brown House. And it was constructed in 1770 
for James Brown, who was an African aide to George Washington during the Revolutionary War. Can you imagine, during the Revolutionary War, James Brown aided none other than George Washington. And this was his home. He became, um, he became wealthy and he had this home um, built for him. But by the mid 1800s, um, you know, he had passed away and it became a place where they made um, homebrew beer and the upstairs apartment like was a boarding house and also a smuggler's den and a brothel. And at this time, you could see this is the river right here. This is the Hudson River. So this part of Spring Street was like all had to do with ships and the port because there was actually docks right at the end of the road here. Like all that's filled in land over there. And now you can see this is this is the for the tunnel. Yeah, that's the vent building. This is the vent building for the for the for the oh, Holland oh. Tunnel. But before all that was constructed, we're talking 1800s, um, a bar opened up in this space. And after Prohibition, right, after Prohibition, the bar did not have a name. It just was simply called Bar. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the thing why. It was simply called Bar. So you see the sign, it looks like it says ear, but it actually says bar. And what happened is, it was a lady free clubhouse. And the, the name of the place, since it didn't have a name, was the green door. Because you see, it's painted green and it has a green door. You see the, you see the green. So they called it the green door, for its green door, 1817. You could see it. And when the current owners, Martin Sheridan and Richard uh, Rip Heyman, took over in the late 1970s, because it's a historic structure built in 1770, the Landmark Commission has a thing where if the building is historic, you can't really change anything on the outside of it and even like any neon signage or anything like that can't be changed so when the current owners uh, purchased the bar and the space they called it ear in cleverly just to avoid the landmark commission's lengthy review for new signage because if they wanted to put new signage they would have to go through this whole review so what they cleverly did is just covered up part of the b in bar to read ear and the name stuck and that's how it was called uh ear in now it's supposed to be haunted it's supposed to be haunted by a ghost named mickey who is waiting for his clipper ship to come into port because like i said this was a seaman's bar like everyone that went to this bar back in the in the 1800s came from the from the docks over here and it was also a popular longshoreman's bar and in fact, my father, who was a longshoreman, told me that he used to go to Ear Inn. And it's really amazing. Uh, it's pretty much untouched. Now, the thing that saved this bar is, as you can see, there's a brand new building right next to it. Now, when the new building wanted to be built, they actually had to shore up Ear Inn, and they had to, like, pay for it to be not collapsed because all the big construction of this big, big, big building next to it was, was damaging the James Brown house. And in a way, this monstrosity that's next to it kind of saved the bar because, it tip it over. right, because they had to pay for it to be like patched up and over. right. Otherwise it would have been tipping over. So in a weird turn of events, the de new development actually helped save the bar. So it, I don't know if they have music inside, but what I'm, I'm gonna ch go check it out. James is gonna stay across the street. I'm gonna see if the owner um, happens to be around. Uh, maybe he can come out and say hi if, he, if yeah. he's around. But I'm gonna go inside without the gimbal um, and without the camera because I wanna just check it out. He can and talk to that way. Over there. Gotcha. No, if he comes out, he can always say hi. Yeah, over this side. 
but I'll, I'll find No, no, I mean first. over by the Kana Soho Bar. Right. So I'm going to go see if... Guys, I'm going to give you the layout right here while Carla right. runs inside. So Erin, yep. 1817. I'm 1817. Gonna, I'm going to go inside, guys. Yep. You could hear the bubbles in the Guinness beer. Christian Hansen, love that. Sometimes I believe Sal Paradise was right. Boys and girls in America have such a sad time together. This is the Hudson River Holland Tunnel Vent Building. There's the other one out in the middle of the water there. Right there. This is that new modern sanitation building that a lot of people agreed or disagreed with. It's for the Department of Sanitation. Let's walk over that corner and show that to you. They did it all very modern. I love these old corner buildings here, these old storefronts on the south end of the UPS. Just beautiful. But there's the sanitation building right over here. Yes, Wolfgang Productions, the whole building in there. Yeah, we have it. In order to get the sign in the shot, it's the whole building with a slight angle. I believe we have that, Wolfgang Productions. I will double check on that for you. There's Hudson River right beyond there, people jogging. This is the vent building. This keeps all noxious fumes circulating when you're driving through that tunnel. Me and Carla come home from Florida. So this is looking all the way up by UPS. Big corporate buildings over this way. And that's the sanitation building. Department of Sanitation NYC. Looking this way, this is looking uh, east. Yeah, how about those Knicks? That display by the New York Knicks. Aussie Fly Girl, this is looking east now. Back in the day, like Carla said, the Hudson River in the piers and everything, this was all water right up to here in. There's even a boat, you know, like a capstan up there. Uh, a, uh, you know, to tie your boat off up on the sidewalk over there. They kept it. Now this way looking east, if you walk another block, which we certainly will, there's the bar that appeared in Martin Scorsese's After Hours with Griffin Dunn, Rosanna Arquette, Fiorentino, she was in there. Hurt was in there. And that's where the bar was. I was just talking about After Hours, how the bar was over here. Yeah. Here, but they have treats for Hudson. Treats for Well, that's a good sign of a bar right off the bat. I was showing them that new controversial sanitation building that they had an architect design and everything. Here we go. You don't want it? Hudson says no. Yes. He likes to be fed by Carla. Look at this, guys. He's got his headphones on. He's living in his headphones. So they have. I can I can mute it and show them, but I mean. Yeah, go it's, ahead. Mute it and walk through. But I'll, I'll come I'll, back over here because we're gonna walk up and show her after hours. There's an interesting marker on the on the sidewalk. Do you want to say on this side? There's a. If you come over here for a second, I want to show you something interesting. Okay, stay there away. From, so you know, the dog. So he doesn't bother anybody eating. Good idea. So this is the historic James Brown house. Now I want to show you this great marker. See from the docks. And I want to show you the original shoreline marker. Wow. We're standing on the former Hudson River shore. The rocky beach was filled in for docks and landings for ships, which would load off goods onto this original wooden block sidewall. Watch your step. Wow. 1766. See, so ships used to come right up here. The water used to come right up here. And they have a lot of artifacts from, from back in the day. This is the bar. And I want to show you something. Look at the old liquor license from 1898. It's one of the oldest bars in New York City. And they have all this old stuff that they found when they were working on the building. All those old liquor bottles. I don't know if you see those up there. Do you see them up there? Isn't that cool? So I want to maintain people's privacy. I don't want to just bother.
but I wanted to show you because it's a true gem and a true seafaring place here in 1817. Isn't that extra, extra, extra good? James Brown House. So it's so cool. And even my dad used to go there when he used to work on the docks on the west side. Because all that used to be docks. I mean, before they, you know, developed the area. But isn't that the coolest thing in the world? Yeah, that's why I was afraid of. I didn't really, I didn't, I know music was playing in the background, so I didn't really want to uh, stay long inside the bar. But, no, I did it. But, you see, no more, now instead of it saying bar, yeah. ear. Isn't that the coolest thing? Guys. Oh, look at this KTM. Now Two that's KTMs. a real. Oh, Guys. talk about that. Guys, high, high capabilities of these two bikes right here. The KTM 690 SM and the Adventure Line KTM. Absolutely beautiful motorcycles here. If you're into the motorcycles, you know who KTM is. known worldwide as a bike that'll take a punishment. So this one's a lot heavier. That's a lot heavier. That's a lot lighter. Right. This one's a lot, lot but lighter. But he's got a lot of bags fastened on here and stuff. Right. And, and, look, at, and, look, at, and look at his wheels too, yeah. you know. The yeah. rubbers, you know, like they're... Yeah, much different. Yeah, totally, totally different. Much different. Wow. Nice guy. Now we're going to show you next is I wanted to show her that that uh, that appears in After Hours with Griffin Dunn and Rosanna oh, Arquette. Oh, extra Right good. up on the corner. Yes. Guys, hope you have a nice Saturday. Hope you're having a nice day. Let me grab the Hudster. So that went good, right? Oh yeah, I left a, I left a note for Martin. The owner wasn't there, but uh, he's such he's such a nice guy. And it's I mean an interesting turn of events. Like I said, the the development of this area actually helped save the bar, which is uh, you know not usually the case. Not no, usually that's not the how case. It rolls. But you know, remember when Martin and his and his partner bought the bar back in the 1970s? This was a very rough neighborhood. Nobody, hardly anybody, lived here. You know, it was kind of like the wild, wild west, really, of Soho. Wild, wild west. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't the trendy place that it is now. Yeah. You know. Hey, Miss V says, "Hey, oh, Carla." And James from Canada. Carla has the same Carla spelling as Robbie Benson's wife, Carla DeVito. Nice. Oh, yeah, extra same. good. Carla DeVito oh. gave Meatloaf some of his most memorable female vocals. Texas Tickler says, is the Pope of Greenwich Village around? Yeah. What do you mean? Hey, uh, look, McGovern's bar sign. Oh, yeah. That's we a great bar sign. Jody this Grubb says, hello, James, Carla, and adorable Hudson Shore. Well, enjoying your, your interesting video. Here's Mr. Hudson. He's got for Record Gosh. Store Day, which we started um, our stream highlighting record stores. Look okay. at this. Beware of the dog. Ooh, That's not be referring careful. to Hudson. Yeah. Jody Grubbs just sent us ten dollars super chat. Jody oh Grubbs. my God. Let me let me say hi. Nice job, Jody. Fantastic Jody, job. Thank you so much. Let me give you a kiss from Mr. Jody, Hudson. Thanks here. for the love and support. Big kiss. Big, Big kiss kisses. Big kisses. AHC teacher in the book. Do you the, see these little cute little yeah, flowers? Yeah, uh, like, uh, what are those called? Um, violets. Like, but I think they're like pansies, but right? I think they're called violets. I don't know if those are violets. They're violet color. Look, oh, this is the bar. This old I Irish bar sadly went out of business but during... this has appeared in the after hours. Yeah, Emerald Pub. Look at that, guys. Where... The bartender, Hurt, leaves his keys. Remember, he gives him his keys. Yes, he does give this him his keys. Done. This is the bar they used right here. Yeah, so this is the bar used in After Hours. That's a great Show movie. The corner spot. It's a great movie. It was a lovely old raining. Irish bar. And I mean, we, in I the love. Movie, it's raining. Right, in the movie, they really set the tone like it's raining and. Uh, you know, look at the whole building. Look at the old fire escape. Yeah, this is it. This is where they filmed it. HE teacher says, hi, James. Thanks yep. for the hello. Yep. 
Ms. Visa, yes, she was, and a very talented lady, as is yep. Carla. Oh, thank you. Yep. Pokey says, says, yes, it's a pansy. Cindy Lauper lived in Soho back in the 1980s, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of famous people lived in Soho because it was like you could you could go in and out and not be bothered. Like, you wouldn't be recognized because you were one of the few people who actually lived in the neighborhood. I mean, now it's... It's got a lot of trendy places and a lot of expensive high-rise buildings as well. Now, this is another lovely neon sign. Again, uh, just left here, McGovern's Bar. Don't you love that neon? Yeah. I, I mean, I hope it's always saved. Yeah. Look at a G-Wagon with the bikini top. Oh, yeah. Bimini top, whatever you call it. Tob Sujin says, hi there, K&J in Hudson from Chile, Missouri. Hey. It's going to be 28 degrees. Oh, my God. Oh, not here in New York. It's nice and warm. Oh, look, this is a has special Danan tuning. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it looks like the M performance. Too, yeah. yeah, it is. The M performance with Danan. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, we're in the very western fringes of Soho now, guys, on Spring Street, pointing There's out a lot of the historic buildings. Emerald, uh, like James said, look, this is almost like a who's who of movie places. Yeah, it is. So this is pretty cool. After hours, extra good. And remember the diner? Yeah. Um, was nearby here. Yes, it the was. old market diner. Yeah, where she says surrender, Dorothy. Exactly. Did you want to go? Listen, do you want to go down the canal and then cut through? Yeah, let's do that. Let's really let's stay in this western fringe of Soho no, really because I don't think right? this is a place that many people explore. No. And uh, it it's worthy. It's no, worthy of sure. exploration. Would you like some water, James? Sure. Joe Burgess is saying hello to Hudson. Yeah, there were a lot of art galleries back in the day. Back, I mean, well, first of all, a lot of artists. Artists were really the one who revitalized Soho in the yeah, 1960s and 1970s is when artists started moving into the abandoned factory buildings and warehouses in Soho. And then once the artists moved in, it got popular. And then it was like by the 1980s, the artists were basically getting priced out of Soho. And certainly by the 1990s, they were totally priced out of Soho and yes. it became, there weren't even any more art galleries anymore. There was more like, um, you know, just pricey uh, clothing stores. Like yeah. now you go down uh, Green Street and Mercer Street and it's like Louis Vuitton and Ferragamo Prada. and Prada, you know, like all the big major. Gucci, um, Gucci, Louis, Gu Louis. Gucci, Gucci. Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Gucci, Fendi, Prada, you know, all Hudson's brands. I don't even bother. Johnny uh, J. Slickster says, hey, everybody from SoCal. Hey. It's 85 today. Wow. Wow. In Southern California, 85 degrees. Can you hold this so I to get some sure. water? Sure. Get some uh, water. Guys, we're down in, my, you know. Western Soho. Western Soho. You notice there's not a lot of folks around. Some people walking their dog, and that's about it. Once you get away from ear in. Right, it's a quiet Look neighborhood. Look at this metal front here. Right, wow. it's, a, it's a quiet neighborhood, but as you see... Oh, I needed some. Many, oh, look at he's going on a trip. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Don't look, forget his bed. Yeah, you can't forget his bed, right? Here, James. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, there you are. You need this receipt that's stuck to it? No, I don't know how that got happened. So, guys, this is... um. You know, expensive homes here, expensive homes, yeah. but it used to be, you know, like basically just warehouses and factories. And then in the 60s and 70s, uh, many art struggling artists moved in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Andy Warhol had his had a place in Soho, right? At first yeah. time. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of musicians, too. Yeah. But then they then then it got expensive. Like I said, by the 1990s, it started really becoming gentrified. Yeah. And basically, the art galleries were forced to close and uh, luxury luxury brands moved in. Luxury brands. And luxury Arlo. hotels. The Ar Arlo Soho. Is that the one where you flat iron? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, go in and see if they have our... Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so it's power washing the sidewalk. Wow, 
look at all the old buildings. Can we show old? Yeah, they and then we'll old. go down there and then cut east. Yeah. That's all we'll do. We'll go down that street there. What is it called? Greenwich Street. Yeah. And I will cut east. Look at that tire. That's for the gym. Oh, so there's a gym right here. You gotta try to flip the tire. You wanna try it? I don't know if that gives me I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Say, can I flip the tire? You have to ask him. They're sitting right there. All right. Here we go. I'm going for it. A lot of pressure, hon. Wow, it's heavy, guys. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. Oh, wait a minute. He had it weighted. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it. Oh. Try I from your I back. Honey, turn around. All right. Here no. we go. No, no, turn it, honey. Try like from your back. Like stand, stand with your ass to it. Oh, this way? Yeah, try that. Not Hold gonna. On. No. No, this way is better. I got more leverage. <laughs> Look, I, I got it off the ground. That's pretty good, right? Like, I got, you, got, you got the wiggle going. I got a little wiggle going. <laughs> hey, that's it, guys. What do you think? Think he Look, could do it? This is for the powerhouse, guys. Not for, not for lightweights like me. The dog pound. No, not yet. Not it's still early though. Yeah. I need a hand strong one. You'll probably take it with Yeah, right? It's a chew toy. A chew toy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they were nice there. They uh, indulged us on our attempt. He said the tire itself weighs 30 pounds, but it's the fact of like dead weight and like how it's lumped. That yeah. is, uh, the center is in the center. Exactly, exactly. Nowhere near where you're lifting it. It's very awkward. It's a good workout. Here, let's go down here. That was a fun attempt, though. Hey, yeah. I'll try anything. Yeah. I'll eat, I'll try any food. I might not like it. You know, I ate the gooseneck, after all. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Look at these buildings. Yeah, I love these old buildings. Now guys, this is like, this is Canal Street. Canal Street marks the end of, uh, the end of Soho and the beginning of Tribeca. And this area is called the Triangle. Tribeca stands for the Triangle below Canal Street. Tribeca, Triangle below Canal Street. And this starts the neighborhood of Tribeca, which again, was like a, nobody even went to it and it became very trendy now. Yeah, so look at this. I love these old buildings. Look at the uh, cellos on the building. Yeah, I'm gonna show this. I want to show a uh, historic plaque. I want to show you guys something. Look at this. It's a landmark, 508 Canal Street. This rare three-story federal style structure and the adjoining buildings at 506 Canal were built in 1828. The site was created when this irregular section of Manhattan's Hudson River shoreline was filled in by landfill in the first decades of the 19th century. This modest building displays many distinctive federal style features, including Flemish bond brickwork. Wow, James. So this is this is a historic structure. Flemish bond brickwork. Nice. Brownstone window sills. Yeah, I see that. Cast iron lintels. I see it. And look at the stars drawn. And a peaked roof built by merchant tailor John 
G R O H R, ROAR. The building originally combined commercial space on ground floor and residential space above. That's gorgeous. So, cast iron lintels yeah, I see it. and brownstone window sills. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, and there's the stars. Those are those are structural elements helping keep the building uh, together. This is where that restaurant used to be? Capsudo Ferre. Yeah. If you guys remember that place. Hey look, someone's walking with a parasol. Has it started raining yet for Jay and Kato? Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna gotta take off this. I, I'm doing that. I gotta take this off now. Yeah, you tried. I was gonna try, you know, but I didn't wanna, you know. Oh, look at this one also. Look, you can tell it's brownstone. Look at that. Yep. There. Yeah, look at them. And the sill. Guys, look at these win window sills and the lintels with the brownstone. And then this is all stamped steel. Look at that. Cast iron. Cast iron, yeah. Yeah, just beautiful. Honey, look at where the restaurant used to be over here. I think it was one block to the right. Oh, look at that sewing machine on the thing. Yeah. And then we'll Watt Street. Oh, Watt. look at this building. Oh, I must show this building. Yeah, that's where the restaurant was on the other side. Oh, Capsudo Ferret. Yeah. Why don't we go around this block? And that sounds perfect. Look at that. Jack Rab just sent us ten dollars just because I love being here. Oh, well, thanks, Jack, Jack Rab. thank Hope you. You're feeling good. Here's the Hudster. Thank here, you. Put Hudson up here. Oh no no no. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Yeah. Jack Rapp, fantastic job. Here's Mr. Hudster. Here he is. We're having a nice day, lower, lower Manhattan. We stopped in to see Jamal so far for Record Store Day. Extra you know him, good. He, he was, was going, going crazy. strong. Yeah, he's going crazy in there. Feel so look at this building. Wait, I gotta, I gotta show it from right here, James. Wait, don't cross yet. Don't cross yet. No. Look at that. Look at that. Look Isn't at that, that a stunner? Look at that they just there. don't build them like this the anymore. Window, like, it's just great. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh yeah, look at that old Jaguar. And it's covered with pollen. James, the Jaguar is cover covered with pollen. Wow, look, they have a garage. Yeah, that's a nice job there. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. Yeah. Wow, look at, look, they're really digging. Maybe they've uncovered some artifacts. We're looking for Jimmy Hoffa's money. Yeah, Jimmy Hoffa's money. Oh, I like that. I like that. Hey, listen, I won't tell anybody. But you know, you, have you guys ever found anything like old like beer bottles or neat things like yeah, that, right? Oh, really? Oh, cool. Do you keep them? Are you allowed no. to? No, you don't have to keep them. It's just somebody wants them to take them. <laughs> but not today. Nothing interesting no, to today's no, no, dig. No, no. All right. Just the guy working hard. That's well, you need a power digger. We got him over there, and look, he's got his he's got his earphones. Uh, so uh, you know he's safety. He's ready. He's ready. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> All right, bye bye guys. James, they found old Coca Cola bottles and like old beer bottles in their digs. Look at that old XJR. Guys, do you want to guess the year of this XJR? Now notice, I'm going to help you. Give you a hint. It has metal bumpers, so that should help in the year. I'm going to go find out what year it is without showing you in the chat. Hold on, I don't want to show in the chat. What year is this Jaguar? I just looked because every New York car has to have the year, the year that it was made on the license registration. Yeah, Power Digger equals Hudson. So this was, um, this was the restaurant Capsudo Foray. Wow, they still have the lights on inside. I'm not sure what's going on in there. Yeah, they odd. Look at this. I know. Yeah. What's going on in there? Huh, I don't know. Door. It has Asian writing on it. 
Go peek in. 68, 73? No, no. 1959? No. No, you have to be specific on the year. You can't just say like a decade. Let me, let me make sure I got it right. I'm going to look again. Hold on. I'm going to look just to make sure that I, that I got it correct. So tell me what year this is and I will give you a portograph in the mail. It's our daily portograph, the year of this Jaguar. Yeah, the car has metal bumpers. Yes, it does. Metal bumpers. They are a little covered in plastic, but they are metal. So that will help you tell you the year. You're not going to believe what year it is. What's your guess? Whisper in my ear. Oh, close. That was close. No, no, not, nobody guessed it right yet. You're getting close, some people, but I haven't seen a right guess. Oh, wait, FCT. FCT 8306 on two wheels got it right. Nice. 1995. FCT, you are the winner. Okay. You got it. Fact 8306. Got it right, 1995. Please email us if um if Gorge can put up or HC teacher can put up our email address. Please email us your physical mailing address yep. so we can mail you a portograph. Yep. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Crate and shipping. Yeah. The old go sign. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, a lot of construction going on in Tribeca. Oh wow, look at that. Rob Fairclough, if you're Rob Fairclough, you're gonna love this. Rob Fairclough, look at how look at this. I I gotcha. Look at that. Mighty Mouse. Wow. Mighty Mouse. James, look, it's a type R. Love it! Love it! Low and wide. Look. Wow, you don't see too many of those. A, a rabbit R 2.0. Mighty Mouse. Oh, awesome. No, he liked it that I liked it. Yeah. Let's go down one more. Now. Oh, yeah. Rob Fairclough is our ch one of our uh, channel... Um, YouTube channel members, and he um, he had a business where he would work on, um, yeah. you know, Volkswagen Golfs and GTI. So we always show him interesting uh, Volkswagens that we see on our journeys, and I, I really love that one, the Mighty Mouse, yeah. and that was cool. That's a rare one with the Type R, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know if it was uh, right. Hudson's loving this. He's loving it. Loving it. He's out there, Jerry, and he's loving it. Hey, look, this is for sale. Anybody looking for something to buy? There's an old Merc. Yeah, that thing will run a million plus. Yeah, that's, a, that's an old one. Yeah. Let's take a left on Hudson. Yeah, guys, and don't you just love the Belgian block here in Tribeca? Extra good. See, this is old warehouses, you see, port warehouses. Yeah. And now it's, uh, you know, more luxury apartments. A bunch of famous people live in Tribeca. Oh, yeah. Robert De Niro. Robert, restaurant. Right, Robert De Niro and, and his restaurant, you know, that, and he revitalized Tribeca for the Tribeca Film Festival. Oh, since walking around like he thinks he's Robert De Niro. Right. Hey, look at those old ghost signs over there, bats. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's warehouse. That's cool. Yeah. When when we see go sign, a go sign means that it's an old like painted sign from uh, you know vintage like from yesteryear. That's Staple Street, James. We'll find out. Look at that though. That's moving in storage. Look at that. How cool is that with the glass bricks? 
take a picture of it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Guys, we're just going to get a picture of this. You don't have The old Dats moving in storage. Products. What does that product say? I can't, can't see it. It got no, kind yeah. like, yeah. oh, I'm sore from doing that. Uh, you had a tire? Yeah. Yeah. In all honesty. Dats warehouse. Look at that little uh, embellishment they put between Dats and moving over here. In between that and get warehouse. Out of the way. Yeah, let me uh, shuffle off to the side. James, because of the uh, construction, Awning. how far? You know, I don't think I need to. to no, go not too far. Down. No. Comma Carla, middle of the street style. You know how she does it, guys. There's the Hudson River back there. Old buildings, ghost signs is out of store. It doesn't exist anymore. Yes, Sonia exactly. Perez, nice, nicely put. Sonia. So would you would you do that? No, or that's you, beautiful. You want me to no, 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 try no, no, to no. cut more of that off, or no. you would just flip it? I thought. I right? just flip it. I just flip the script on it. Don't, don't be moving around yet. I yep. Put this away. Guys, this looking east. Hey, there's an M4. I see that. Just beautiful old buildings. Since we have to still go to the right a little bit. Is this the air near where Vito Corleone got his start in the olive oil business with Hyman Roth? <laughs> it looks like it. Could be. Honey, why don't you see where Staple Street is here? I think it's a little bit farther to the right and the left. Give you your phone or you have, I have it. Uh, let's check. I don't know, honey. You have it. All right, so just wait a second. Just show the yeah. chat thing some yeah. stuff. Yeah. All old warehouses, beautiful old buildings. There's one of our favorite water towers up there down this little alleyway. And uh, see? Welcome aboard, guys. Jack Rabbit, this definitely looks like an area where people could conveniently disappear. Yeah, no one around. You know, you had the big trunks on the cars, Jack Rabbit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a quiet talk, and before you know it, you're in a landfill somewhere in New Jersey. <laughs> I get that vibe, don't you, hun? Exactly. I love the architecture in Tribeca. Is this near the Chelsea Market? No. CPQ Trainer. No, that's we're not about. In Chelsea. We're we're in Tribeca. That's Chelsea about. Chelsea is north of Tri of Yeah, of about 40, 50 blocks north this way. Chelsea is between 14th and, and 23rd Street. Yeah. On the west side. And we're down on a well below Houston Street, which is more or less zero. Today is no, no. Yes, so no. Today is Jack Nicholson's birthday. Oh, extra good. Jack Nicholson, the actor, turns, uh, they had the age in here, I'm trying to get back to it. Andrew Neufeld is definitely, desperately trying to seek a, send a super sticker, super chat, but when I hit it in send, nothing happens. Attempted several times. No, we're not. I'll put it in my pocket. Just undo it. Yeah, yeah a Andrew, sometimes, I don't know why, sometimes it doesn't work depending upon your the model of your phone or laptop you're using. Um, I don't know if one of our moderators can help uh, with that, but sometimes it, it's a, it's a, you know, something to do with YouTube and the operating system of whatever device you are using to watch our live stream. Oh, there's the Jenga building. Yeah, see, we're kind of in a pickle. Yeah, let me just show the Jenga building so people can see it. There we go. Oh, Wolfgang's got to take off. Thank you, Wolfgang, for watching. Honey, I think we have to go a couple of blocks that way and then make a left pass the top. That exit. By the precinct there. So this one. Okay. And then see where that row of buildings is there? Yes. We make a left there. Sounds good. You warm enough? You got your sweatshirt? Or no? I took it off. I was too warm. Yep. Wow, it's a nice breeze. We're back on Hudson Street, guys. 
Just want to let you know, back on yeah. Hudson Street. Yeah, looks like definitely the type of area. You could be sent for a dirt nap, right, honey? <laughs> back <laughs> dirt, in the day. A dirt nap back in the day. Hey, look at that. We could cross that bridge. That looks like fun. Let's do that. Oh, that looks like lots of fun. Yeah, here, yeah, let's cross it. Won't be a, it won't be a toilet at all. Oh, no, we can stay here. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, there's it. that old building with that. Yeah. See on the oh, yeah, front? Yeah. Show, show that or no? Yeah, let's show that. Okay. Guys, we found another architectural gem for you. Mark in Ohio just sent us a $1.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Mark in Ohio. Hope you're having a wonderful spring day. Oh, look at this little cute dachshund. Oh, and look at this cutie. He's got a big smile on his face. Prancing along. Hi. Quite a prancy gate. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Oh, look at that. Guys, look at this hat mold. It's a hat mold. I just it's read about a place in London. It's to keep your hats. Look right. at that. Vogue 4257. Yeah. It's to keep your it's hats. It's a 21 and 3 quarter. Right, like in case your hat get, hat get if it got wet or something like that. Right, yeah. James? Yeah, hey. Look at that. That's still, I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, they didn't know they in their elbow. Look, guys, I want to show you the old American Express building. Yeah, I want to yeah. show you a, a true gem, an architectural gem, the old. Look at how American Express has look come. Look at up there. Look at that. I want to show you something. How cool is that? Can you read that? American Express. American Express Company. Isn't that the coolest in the world? I bet you didn't know that American Express had its headquarters right here. Isn't that awesome? On Old Late Street. L-A-I-G-H-T. Old Late Street. American Express. Look at this, Collister Street. Look at this old alleyway. Isn't this the coolest? Oh, we gotta walk down the alleyway. Oh, we gotta walk down the alleyway. Best street in New York City is Hudson Street. Wild Bill says the doggy on the building, the American Express looks like Hudson. No. It does. No, well, Hudson's just too sweet. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. This is the old American Express building. Look at that guy. Hubert Street. Late Street. And this is. Yeah, Lee, Collister. Hubert. There used to be the club down here on Hubert Street. Body and soul. Remember yeah. Body. You got it. Look at how beautiful it is, guys. Yeah. What do you say, huh? Good? Wow. Yeah, just such a nice day that we said, just let's keep on walking and okay. show some more let's architectural go. gems. Yeah, Keep right. walking. Look at these huge apartments. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, these are big apartments. I have an AT&T Android, and no matter how many times I try my attempt to send a super chat, a super sticker, it's not working. Ah. Andrew, I don't know if it's convenient for you, but um, HT Teacher or Gorge, whoever is in the chat right now, can always put up a link. I don't know if you have um, a PayPal account, but that's another way to send to send the channel donation is is through PayPal. I, I mean, I don't know if that's convenient or inconvenient, but we appreciate you trying, and and we know that it's sometimes difficult. Look at that. There's the other side of the American Express uh, Company building. Oh, Jacqueline Verlato had to run to the store, but I'm glad you caught you live. Jacqueline, Jackie and Dorothy sent up a package to Hudson for his birthday, and we will open that um, on Monday. Uh, we will be opening more of Hudson's presents. We'll be rounding out his birthday month uh, and trying to finish our puzzle. We'll be doing that on Monday afternoon. We will announce the time of the start uh, for our Patreon and YouTube members ahead of time. But thank you so much, Jackie and Dorothy. That was very sweet of you. We didn't open it yet, but 
we have it set aside to open on Monday. Look at Hudson prancing along. Yeah, he loves him. He's prancy poke. He's in his element right now. The king of lower Manhattan, Hudson. Oh, thank you, Gorge. Put up our PayPal. Nice, let's cross over. Thank you, Gorge. Uh oh, watch it. In a busy little busy little alleyway over here. Yeah. Who would have thunk? Know, right? would've Look thunk. at this. This is Beach Street. Did you know that there was a Beach Street in Manhattan? Beach Street. Beach. Oh, beach Street. street. This is Beach Street. Wow, look at that. Hey, Chris Bates, how are you? We're in Tribeca. We did some record store shopping for record store day. Oh, look at this. Let's look at a pizzeria. A Maon. Looks like a fancy pizza spot. Maron, you said? Like it's a pizza spot across the street. Who's it? Ain't the Rome? Maron. Like, oh, oh, oh Maron. Oh, 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 Maron. Oh, oh what a maroon. <laughs> Bugs Bunny style, right? Oh, Maron. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu. Right, James? Yeah. Guys, we're back to Hudson Street. No matter what we do, we keep on gravitating back to Hudson Street. Yeah. Isn't that true, James? Yes, we do. No matter how many times you get around. Oh, hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. He's very friendly. He is, too. Oh, what's his name? Levi. Levi, Levi. this is Hudson. How are you? Hey. <laughs> Where were you? Your ears are all wet. Yeah, he was at Washington Square Park nice. having too much fun in the water. Oh, nice. you were in the pool. Uh -oh. You yeah, were the playing? Dog park where, like, oh, yeah, the yeah, the, the, like, the little yeah. sprinkle pool. Oh, hi, <laughs> Levi. Levi's adorable. <laughs> Wait, James. No, 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 no. Very important. Guys, we want to show you the most important street sign, and James is going to take a photo of Carla and Hudson. Because guess where we are? The most important street sign in all of New York City. Yep. His look at this sake. gorgeous on the brick. Look at that. Yeah, and look at the face on the side. Yeah, get the camera out. Guys, picture time. Because our other one's so old, James. They should dye Levi blue. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. James, I got the, uh, it's all set for you. James, watch out. I got it all set for you. Watch it. That's a freshly dipped brush. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I got it back up, though. I know, but I want to just get it. Someone thought you said Peach Street. Yeah, it's on street, Josh Dean. You know that. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Jennifer Herring popping in. Here on a leg. Leave this on. Or yeah. take it off. No, leave it on. Okay. The headphones. And should I, it's okay, this bag? No, give me those bags. Just put them right here. I got to get in the right spot. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, hold on. What do I do, a vertical like I did in the no. past? Uh, oh, did you grow vertical? Yeah. You can always um, square I'll do it both. Though. Yeah, hollow sidewalk, you got it. Hollow sidewalk means there's vaults and storage underneath the sidewalk. And they put that there so heavy trucks don't drive in and fall through. Don't drive up on the sidewalk to park or unload something and then they'll cave in. James, what are you going to do? They'll ruin the whole McGillis. Is you're going to take, take that? Yep, you got it. Hudson? Hudson. He, he knows, okay? Hudson, go over there and sit down. We will. Yep. No, it's a little windy, so don't, you know, don't yep. want to find that. I'm not yep. trying to try to... Yep. Yeah, cover up the hollow sidewalk street. There we go, guys. There's Carla, there's Hudson. Huds! Huds! Street! Huds! Beautiful. You got it? Yeah, thank you, guys. How are you today? You got it? Yeah, they got it. Let me get one more. Okay, one more? I'm going to try to zoom in a little, get cute. There, hang on. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my hair. There we go. Hold on, guys. Thanks. Hold on, James. 
Yeah. You know, I'm trying, right, Hunt? At least he's trying. He's out here. He's trying it. Hudson. Great. Right. Hair's blowing like a I sieve. What Look can at I Carla's do? hair blow. Here's Hudson. I got Here's it. Here's the Hudster. Hudson Street. Hudson Street. Hudson Street. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's cute. Go, go to the horizontal ones. I think the wind was a little less... Uh... Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, there's your bag. Yeah, yeah. Your bag's blown away. You're blowing your bag away here. Guys, let me show you Hudson Street again. Hold the Hudson. I got him. Picture of Carlin Hudson. Hey, Heather. Welcome aboard with that cool font. Dropping things, honey. Yeah. Nervous. Keep dropping things. Lisa UK girl likes your sweat, your t-shirt. Thank you. One of our favorite spots in the city. Why would that be? Well, you don't have to look very far. It's my little homie right here called Hudson. Here we go. Once they pull through, we're going to cross and then cross. You got it, hon? You got it. There we go. Okay. Right here. Soon I'll have to get out. Let's cut across. I should have dug in your bag then, but I have to get out the, uh, you know, uh... Battery? Yeah. Ah. There's Bubbies. Bubby. Hey, Bubby. Mad, Mad Meg from Bedlam Hair, LOL. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Remember the um, Meg Ryan with the... Um, yep. No, no, it was a Cameron Diaz with the uh, semen in her hair. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Remember that? Yeah. That was a funny one. The pork or the beans. The pork or the beans, huh? You got everything? You didn't lose anything over there, did you? Uh, I, I, I hope not. Well, Why don't you go double check? I got my phone, so. Guys, if you follow our trips up from Florida, the great state of Florida, we drive 20 something hours, all said and done. And we come out of the tunnel, loop right around here, and this is where we come out after driving those days. Two days, three days. Yeah. So yeah. You know, that's where we pull up and go right up West Broadway down here. You just gotta wait. It's gonna get a little windy, the um Sure. Guys, huh. you're gonna f hear a difference in the mic. Andrew Newbell just sent five dollars. Andrew Love Newbell, today's stream. fantastic so job. Is Hudson up for adoption? Andrew, oh, I, God, am, no. I am sorry, but Hudson is not it's up for taken. adoption. However, you can walk him. If you come to New York and you visit with us, we will allow you to take him for a walk. Yes, we will. And for free of charge. Free of charge, you can walk the Hudster. Okay, standing in the middle of the sidewalk. Oh, so sorry. Oh, sorry, my friend. Clash sold out. I was with you every mile, Alex Burrell. I remember that fantastic job. Yeah, and thank you, Andrew. That was very sweet of you. Yeah. Glad you got it sorted out. Yeah. Oops, Hudson, watch out. So that's looking back towards Hudson and Beach Street. James there we the go. Open, so yep, start. zip that shut. New York City, New York City girl. Love Carla's trousers also. We oh, see UK thank girls you. saying. For Earth Day, guys. Oh, Chris Bates saw the clash in English beat in concert once. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you gotta get Hudson a hot dog. Yes. 
Yes, we're, we'll, we're, we're, we're going to find a good spot, a hot dog spot. Can you take Mr. Hudson? Yep. Yeah, Tribeca isn't a good spot for street hot dogs. It's too, um, it's too upscale, but we'll find a good, um, we'll find a good spot that, that sells hot dogs on the street. It's not really um, the clientele over here. For They're more like a caviar. You know, caviar wishes and uh, champagne dreams. Champagne dreams. Caviar wishes. Look at this. The fourth police precinct and the first precinct. Wow. Yeah. Look at those uh, lights. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. They're kind of like Gondor, right? Yeah, like Gondor. Oh, Sonia Perez drew a butterfly for Earth Day. Yeah, guys. I Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, we're steps away. If you if you missed our live stream last year, last can you believe it was a whole year? It was last year already? We built the iconic Ghostbusters firehouse out of Lego. Oh, it's open! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, it's open! It's open, it's open! It's open! Look, the Ghostbusters firehouse door is open. We can see the firehouse. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Guys, we built this. We built the Ghostbusters firehouse out of Lego. And we brought it here and we showed the difference. They have the Lego up on there. I know they have the Lego one too. There it is. There's the Lego, just like we built. And it looks exactly like it. Oh, awesome. James. 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 Guys, you can just imagine them going down the pole. Ladder eight, extra good. And here's Mr. Hudson, the firehouse dog. Isn't that great? Rev Janisario just sent us ten dollars. Hudson deserves a hot dog. We love him. We're gonna get him a hot dog. There's just no street vendors around here. One. We'll find one real soon for Mr. Hudson. Oh, but this is so wonderful that that they had the doors open to Hook and Ladder 8, the Ghostbusters Firehouse. You can watch us. We live streamed the entire build where we built that Lego firehouse. And then we did the lighting of it too. So we, we put the we put lighting inside of it. Look, they have uh, t-shirts for sale. I didn't even know. Look at that. They have t-shirts. Look, we can get a pa a, a pin and a, and a patch. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, goodness, we can get something. We can get something for Hudson. Let's, let's ask if they still have these for sale. Do you still have any of these items for sale? Yeah, we have everything. Oh, you have everything. Oh, wonderful. Oh, good, 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 good. What do you think? James, look, what do you think we could, we could put it on Hudson's vest? It would be so cute. The Ghostbusters Firehouse. And then it goes to benefit the, 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 benefit the firehouse. Extra good. Look at that, a cute little pin. I like the pin. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a pin, guys. Hold on. I gotta give the gimbal to James. James, I'm gonna get a little pin. It's a Ghostbusters Firehouse pin, and we could put it. Yeah, I wanna buy nice. one. That sounds great. Here's the Hudster, guys. Hey, Nina Sargent. Not Nina. Nina Sargent, fantastic job. We share the same love for New York City. Please tell me when you say someone come and walk Hudson, you mean with you also. Happy Earth Day, yeah. Nina Sargent. $9.99, fantastic job. That is a fantastic job. Adriana Rodriguez, $10. Patch for Hudson, you got it. Nice job. 
Adriana Rodriguez, Nina Sargent, so generous, all you guys. DJ Jules, Red Music, Red J Music, Nina is my wife. Nice job, DJ Jules. We're looking for the, uh, honey, two super chats, come on over. Oh. Here, Nina Sargent, is that how you say that? It's DJ Jules. You got that one, right? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Red Jenny, Jenny twelve dollars. Adriana, Adriana Rodriguez, ten. Rodriguez Pin for set. Hudson. Look. Look at it. Let's get it on his vest. Beautiful job, Huds. That's fantastic. He said we can. Um, you can take a picture. Of this. So kind, guys, Reverend Generals, everybody in the chat. Thanks for the support. Here, it's going on Hudson's uh, vest. Look at this. Maybe, yeah, that looks great. Oh, my God, let me make sure it's in focus. Guys, thanks for the support. Just maybe on green mode? What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Inside there, because it will yeah, be dark, Yeah, hold this right? a sec. Okay. Yeah, I got to wipe my... Uh... Yep, you got it. Wipe the lens. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Burgess, very cute, right? Guys, so let me just thank everybody. Hold on, James. First of all, I want to thank Adriana Rodriguez, a patch for Hudson inside. You're going to take it. Rev Jen sent us $12. Nina Sargent said we share the same love in New York City with, with Hudson inside. Yeah. Okay, give me that. Here, I'll just take this off for a second. Yeah, That'll take Hudson. Okay. There on. you go. Take all this. There you go. Okay. Here we go. There okay. we go. Picture. Now he's a he's official. You gotta take the cap off for me, hon. Oh, take the cap off. You know I'm not the. You can't get a picture without the cap. Okay. Hudson, the cap. What do you want? It straight on here? Yeah. Wait. Here, there we go. Then we'll get bag out of the way. Oh, look at this now. Yeah, we're official now. Yeah. We're ghost busting. Here we go, Huds. What do you think, Huds? Look at Judy. Huds. Hey Hudson. Well, Hudson. Hudson, treat. Hudson, you want a treat? Perfect. Got it? I think we one of those gotta work. Good boy. Yeah, we, we Thank you, sir. You have treats for him too? Oh. oh. We live we live by engine fifty five and they, they oh, dump him there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> they get, nice I mean, job. Uh, he eats him out of house and home is what he does. <laughs> because, you know, we go by it like three times a day and he like pulls to go in. I yeah. feel badly. That was fantastic. Oh, Thank you. Awesome. Always FDNY, always on the ball. You know that guy's best fire department in the world. The FDNY. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Have a great day. Yeah. I love it, don't you? HC teacher, SEK sent us a super chat. Oh, yes, let me Tony thank G, everyone. 100 SEK. Tony G Oops. sent us 100 SEK. Thank you so much. That's, that's yeah. Kroner. Yes, Kroner, I think it is. Yeah. Look at that. Extra good. Robert Parker just sent us $10 super sticker. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing. Amazing. It's so cute. We got Hudson. We got Hudson, a ghost buster. Look at him. Hook and ladder. He's now official. He's part of the ghost busting team. Look at how team. perfect it looks. You tuck that away. Look at how perfect that looks. It's clear, right? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it came out clear. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. He's got his we're gonna pin. put we're gonna put up the picture on our community page. I will remember this forever. Yeah, it is so amazing. Extra, yeah, extra good. Hudson's pin. He's official now. He's a member. Yeah, so thank you for all the super chats to not only Robert Parker, I'm going to name them all, Tony G, S-E-K, super chat, Adriana Rodriguez, Rev Genesario, Nina, Nina Sargent says, we share the same love in New York City. Please tell me that when you say someone come and walk Hudson, you mean with you also. Of course, of course. Happy Earth Day. Yes, that goes without saying. Hudson's not going to go without us, that you'll join our team. And Rev Genesario says Hudson deserves a hot dog. So we got you. We got you guys. Oops. Watch out. We don't want to get. We don't want to get run over. <laughs> oh, he's a firefighter. He probably works right here in the firehouse. 
Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? We just got a pin for Hudson's. Hello, James. Oh, I think you're James. This is the, where the, I'm. I'm Carla. This is James. This oh. is Hudson. Yeah, that's all. That's in case he gets lost. You know, then people can know who, who he belongs nice to. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. He's official ghost busting member now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for the, your service. Extra good. Oh, that was so wonderful. Would you say, hon, FDNY, yeah. best fire department in the world? And you I'm hanging out on their rope. Hudson is, that person. Hudson is the commissioner of the New York Fire Department yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, we're on Worth Street now. Worth. Guys, we're going to show you. Oh, we are talking you. about ghost signs. I want to show you. Yeah, we'll right across yeah. that sounds perfect. I want to show you a really great ghost sign. You, you want to take a picture of it, right? What do you need? Oh, well, there, oh, the just battery? what? Yeah, what, the, the middle part? No, no, just a sign, right? Or you not? Ah. Yes. Yeah, put it away. I need to plug that back in. Yeah, no, like hold that. Why don't we get out of the Guys, look at this old, uh, old sign here. I'm going to show it to you. They repurposed it. Liquor yeah. store, but then they put new liquor store neon over that. Guys, thanks for the support. Yeah. Hey, hey. Don't get fresh, hon. There you go. Carla's looking for the cap, she says. Look at this old single family dwelling here. Thank you for taking that photo, James. It's really awesome. Ah, it's awesome. I love this area of New York, FDNY. Much respect. Much, much, much respect. FDNY. Hey, Cafe Ice 7 popping in. Welcome aboard. Remember, guys, it's Saturday. Hope you're having a nice weekend. James is doing his usual pollen struggles with the tree pollen. It's no big deal. Nothing new. I've been through it before. Just give me this. And uh, off we go. We're going to go head down White Street next. Week. Yeah, so this was an old liquor store, guys. You see cordial. wines and liquors, cordial. And then it became a, a clothing store, but they kept the original neon sign. And they kept these signs above, which we really, really love. Cordials, imported and domestic. And look, cognac, there's a cognac. You could barely read that one, it says cognac. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Going down the wrong area. Exactly. Into things you are not sure of, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, guys, somebody lost their easy pass. Maybe I should take it and, and I'll turn it in. I'm going to do a good deed. James and I just found this easy pass. It must have fallen out of somebody's car. As you know, we have an easy pass holder, so we'll, it will never fall out of our car ever again. <laughs> But I am going to mail this in to Easy Pass and tell them that I found it. So I'm going to put it in my bag. Blue Star just sent us $10 for the birthday boy, my darling Hudson. Oh, thank you, Blue Star. That's so sweet of you. Let me show you sweet boy Hudson. There he is. Oh, should we show well, Let There Be Neon from the outside? Might as well. So let's cross and then we'll cross. Look at that. Look for the clothespin tag. Look at that. Look at that old ghost sign up there. Guys, look at that. For the, look for the old clothespin. I got to show it from here. Otherwise, we're going to miss it. No, maybe from the island. We'll go to the island. What is an easy pass? An easy pass is a way to pay your tolls on like the New Jersey t the turnpike, the thruway, and it's for the road tolls on the United States, um, you know, there's different highways, Interstate 95. We need it to pay all the tolls, like through the state of Virginia and the Delaware and the Delaware Bridge. I mean, New Jersey Turnpike, when we go through the Holland Tunnel. 
and we bring it with us. We rent a car when we drive, but we, we have our easy pass, but that person lost theirs and I, I nicely took it. Look at that, there's the Jenga building. so much blue star that was really really sweet of you so oh wait wait i gotta back up i'm too i'm too close now hold on hold up back up back up i want to show you look for the clothes spin tag check this out guys let me get out of the way wait james you're watch where you're going you're you're in the way i'm in the way i need to know the way there we go Look at that old ghost sign. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. He's got his headphones on. Record store day. You know, guys, they're also they're they're noise canceling um headphones. So that way, when Carla's too loud, Hudson can just put them on. And then he can work on his pizza novel. Yeah, it's pizza novel. Look at the Jenga building, though, and look at the World Trade Center be uh, tucking yeah. behind there. Look at all that. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is. Let's walk by and look there. What does that close the ghost sign say? It says, "Look for the clothespin tag." Yeah, clothespin tag. So it must have been an old uh, clothing manufacturer. Yeah, Hudson wants to join them for a cocktail. Yeah. Now we've highlighted this neon shop. This is a shop that not only creates neon signs, but also restores vintage neon. And we've highlighted it for a recorded video. So if you would like to watch that and you can see, you can see them actually bending the, the neon, bending the glass and filling it with the neon gas. Oh, that's new, no walk-ins. Yeah, that's been um, since pandemic. Oh, gotcha. That's cool. It's owned by Jeff Friedman, and we did a whole tour of it. It's extra good. Hudson, your chair has arrived. Hudson's that's chair has cool. arrived. That's actually a very expensive chair. Where that's an Aeon chair. Yeah. It's a very expensive chair. That costs like yeah. well over $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this building here in between buildings. Yeah, I want to show you this really, really cool. This is actually a synagogue. You're not going to believe this. This is a Jewish synagogue, guys. Oh, wow. Look at the Kenny Scharf. I'll, I'll show the synagogue. First, show the synagogue, then, I'll show the Kenny Scharf. Look at this synagogue. Isn't this the most unique synagogue you've ever seen? Isn't that the coolest architecture? Yeah. Right? It's cool, right? How did that ever get built? How did that ever I don't think there's any other synagogue like this. Uh, yeah. Is it really pretty inside too? Oh, nice. You want to go in there? Look the gates open. Yeah, let me see if I can go inside. Guys. James, I've ne uh, guys, I've never been inside. I don't know if they'll allow me inside, but um, let's see. I don't know if they're having an event now. Israel of 75. We are family models for relationships. Soccer is downstairs. Please leave strollers outside. Huh. Let me let me ask. Hello, how are you? Huh. I was just uh, wanting to ask the question if, if you knew when the architecture was done. I just love the outside. Huh. It, it looks so beautiful. I've never seen a synagogue like that. Yeah, it's so cool.
Do you, can you see the sweep like when you're inside too? Does it like? Yes, you can. Although, there are, you can go up there, but they're um, setting up for an event. Oh, I can just go up real quick? Oh, thank you. Oh, she's allowing me to go upstairs. Extra good. Oh, wow. Oh my God, guys. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. So cool. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that, guys. Look at the skylight. Civic Center Synagogue. That's where we are, guys. I would say, I, I mean, it's certainly the most unique synagogue here in New York City, I believe. I don't, I've never seen, yeah, super unusual. Thank you, yeah. I was just, I was just, I'm the architecture fan, so I just love the, I love the space she allowed me to come inside. It's really beautiful. I know you guys are setting up for an event. I don't mean to disturb you. So beautiful. Yeah, beautiful lines. That was so nice of her to let me inside. That was amazing. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. I loved it. It was, it was beautiful. I can. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Wow. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous inside. She let me inside. It was really, really, really oh, nice. Hey, hey, look at this Kenny Sharp. Show that over here. So you could see that sweep, like I was right there. And then there's a skylight. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna find out more about it. The Civic Center Synagogue. I'm gonna find out when it was constructed. Um, and I'll put that information on the community page. Oh wow, look at this Kenny Scharf. Wow, he actually painted inside on the walls? Yes, yeah, sure. That's amazing. Wow, it's beautiful. It's so happy and colorful. Yeah, it is. Clayton Dozier says, tell Hudson I said hello. No Violently problem. Violently happy. <laughs> <laughs> Violently happy. Yeah, so it did, ha you know, it, there were yarmulkes like for the men to wear, um, you know, to put on their head. Um, um, I'm not really sure, you know, like what division of the Jewish church, you know, um, it is like they're saying in the chat that it could be um, Messianic. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm pronouncing it right, but I, I know that there's like Orthodox Jewish and there's like there's conservative Jewish. Right. So I don't know how religious that particular congregation is that um that worships there but it was beautiful oh this might be the alley yeah. no, this, this is, is franklin yeah like a long time ago. right yes let me just show it real quick this is one of the great alleys that um yeah that are here in tribeca i just wanted to show you this beautiful alley 
website say it's a flame shaped design. Oh, thank you, Marty. The official Marty, architectural yeah. landmark in New York City, designed in 1967 Marty, by architect that. William Greger. Um, CPQ trainer looked it up. Oh, That's amazing. That's great, CPQ trainer. Marty, fantastic. Best chat on YouTube. Yeah. Guys. Look at all we're finding today. Yeah. This has been amazing. This is the absolute best chat on YouTube. Yeah, and everyone loves the Kenny Scharf, right? Like painted right on the wall. Like it wasn't even. Yeah, no. uh, I don't even know how that's for sale, but maybe yeah. maybe the walls come down. I don't know. And the walls come, come tumbling down. down. Look at that, Banksy yeah, in New York, huh? On, on, uh, Sanctioned. On that thing. Oh, look at this! Look at yeah, this street view, guys. I want to just show you. Look at that. I know, but it's a cool. That's looking north. Now I'm gonna spin around. Yeah, and looking south, and that is the, the iconic Woolworth building that you see with the green top straight down the center. Let me spin around again. Okay, the light's gonna change. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Broadway. On Broadway. Broader than Broadway. Because I'm broad. Broader Happy Broadway. Earth Day, guys. I'm wearing my green pants in honor of Earth Day. Well, let's show the world's littlest museum over here. Yes. What's going on over yeah, here? we're going to get huts and a hot dog. Everybody wanted to get huts and a hot dog. Yeah. Greg B. and Rev Jen. We're going to get him one. I just haven't seen any hot dog vendors. I knew there wouldn't be any around here. Because yeah. Tribeca is kind of like a kind of ritzy for a hot dog vendor yeah, you know, they don't eat that poison anymore. right we'll find we'll find one. Oh, look at this yeah, yeah, wow wow he's thing? so talented Here, now let's check out the little museum down here. oh cool yeah I hear like side note. <laughs> I wow. Hear <laughs> wow some drama Case Look, another little alleyway. Look at this. No, this is one of our favorite buildings, though, guys. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this gallery that opened up. Yep, that's the end of it. Wow, this is a huge gallery space. How are you guys? That little museum closed, huh? Yeah. I yeah. So. We were looking for it, and they 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 uh, plastered over the window, so oh, you can't. Yeah. yeah, you can't look inside anymore. But your the space is beautiful. Yeah, it's so big. Yeah, you it's. Uh, in there? Uh, my girlfriend does. Oh, yeah, there. it's amazing because of it's. It, I guess that's the length of the building, then, right? I'm not sure, but I think so. It's yeah, deep, yeah, it's pretty deep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Have deep. a great day. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Look at the look at the fire escape. And look at the shutters. Fantastic. Just extra, extra good. And look at Mr. Hudson. He's like, where's my hot dog? I've been walking for miles, miles, and no hot dog. Don't worry, Hudson. We're going to find you a hot dog. By Canal Street, there should be one, James. Guys, I'm sure we're gonna find a hot dog. We just have to, we have to uh, walk a little bit north of here. Well, they got like a little street event down there. Yeah, they got a DJ and everything. Wow. think we avoid that yeah. <laughs> what do you think James yeah. that would be a good uh good call right well, yeah well that's what I meant exactly Hudson yes Dolores had to, has his red headphones on today because it's yeah, record store to day to find him on. I'm by canal I thought yeah, you know how let's head out to canal. yeah 
We're gonna make a left on Lafayette Street. We're gonna head out to Canal, but I wanna show you this beautiful firehouse that is no longer um, being used as a firehouse, but it's an art center. And it's a, it's a, a community space, an art center. And extra, extra good. It's the old Engine 31 and the 2nd Battalion headquarters. But it's a beautiful firehouse. It's, a, it's an architectural gem. A true architectural gem. Right, James? Look at this. We saw the Ghostbusters firehouse and now we see this. This is what they used to build back in New York City. Look at all the money spent. It's now the downtown community um, TV Asia center. Two. And uh, let's see what this copper sign says, what year it's from. What, what does that say? What, 1805? Does it say? Yeah. 1895. Yeah. Is that what it says? This is from 1895, I believe. Engine Company 5. This building was constructed in 1895. It's among the best of the many eclectic firehouses built by Napoleon, Lebron, and Sons. Today oh, it look, seems surprising right, that such an elaborate design would be used for such a utilitarian structure. The entire spirit of the building with its corner tower, steep roof dormers, and stone and iron crustings becomes a romantic fairy tale. That's how they describe it. Let me show you again. They said this is very, like, it's, you know, they, they even say how unusual it is for a firehouse to be constructed. They're, they're saying a romantic fairy tale. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous? I'm gonna back up to show you the entire building. Gonna back up. James, back it up. All right, now let's move on. We're in search of a hot dog for Hudson. And a hot dog we shall find. Yeah, Hudson gets his hot dogs. Yeah. Guys, we gotta get a hot dog for Hudson. That's our that's what our goal is right now. Well, James, are we near your sponge? I might be on to something with that. We're not, that's not too far from the sponge. We're not going out of the way of the sponge. No, the sponge is right over there. Okay. At least one or two more. Okay. For the sponge. You want to go out to Canal, though, yeah, so, we, no. so we don't mess up? It's a okay. sponge. I planted the, uh, the seed in James's, in James's head that not only are we going to get not only are we going to get a hot dog for Hudson, but we are going to get the best sponge cake in Chinatown for James. Because James walked a lot today. Oh, look at the nice plants for Earth Day. Beautiful plants. Beautiful. Go green for Earth Day. I got my green pants on. And a hot dog for Mr. Hudson. Oh, look at the City Hall building. We, we, we see that, James, we're so lucky that we see that from our, uh, you know, uh, apartment. Oh, there's a hot dog guy. I found a hot dog cart. I told you I'd find, I told you I'd find a hot dog cart. I said, go, go, we'll go to Canal Street. Oh my goodness. He's a superhero over here. Oh, watch out, James, it's gonna come. Hot dog for Hudson, here we come. Greg B, if you're still watching, Rev Jen, if you're still watching, the hot dog for Hudson is forthcoming. Yeah. Look at that, look at the beautiful city hall, municipal building. Yeah. Hot dog for Hudson. Oh gosh, I hope they have a hot dog. I hope they're not out of hot dogs. Remember that time? It's okay. One hot dog for Hudson. Hello. Can I get a, a regular hot dog? James, can you hold this for? I sure will. There you go. Look, Hudson's all ready. And now we're going to get our sponge. I got it. I got it. 
Here you go. Tuck that in your bag or whatever you want. Hudster. Thank you. Hold on, let me just put my money away. You know how it is. You gotta Reverend Jenny. Duck it away. <laughs> hey, do oh, not answer Guys, hot dog for Hudson. Here he goes. Right oh, over here. We wait, without yeah. that in the background? Yeah, this is good. Right here. Okay, here there we go. go. Hot dog for Hudson. Here we go, guys. Guys, you asked for it, you got it. Boom. Good boy. He doesn't drop that. He does not drop it. He earned it today. Good two. boy. Two for I two. Want right paw. I want right left paw. paw. Good left boy. paw. Good boy. Thank Guys. Thank you, Grab Jen. Thank Rev you, Bob. All Rebbe. our supporters. Thank you for everyone for, for donating to the Hudson Hot Dog Fund. You got it. The sights and sound of New York as Hudson gets his hot dog. He's All getting done, it. Guys. That's it. Hudson got his hot dog like a good boy should. Like the best boy ever. Can't see you. Yeah, he's just looking at the toy. Hey, Desi Des, four ninety nine. Jeez, look at the frog. Yep, yeah, Desi Des, four ninety nine. Oh, thank you, Desi Des. Thank Desi you so Des, much. Fantastic job, guys. You got it, Mr. Hudson. You holding yeah. him? Yeah. Oh, Hudson loved that hot dog. I knew I would find a hot dog on Canal Street. See, I, I knew where all the spots. I knew that there would never, never. Never be a hot dog vendor in Tribeca because, like, no, Tribeca is just like you know, you're oh. Tribeca is where, like, where, where you have like, yeah, where you have like 200, 300 dollar meals. You don't get a you don't get a hot dog on the street for three dollars in Tribeca. No, there are no, gonna you're not gonna find it. I mean, you can't, oh, yeah. The best sponge cake in Tribeca. Now, James is gonna rejoice. I am happy, I am happy, happy. This Joy is joy. this is our hidden hack. If you're hungry. Baxter, and you're in Chinatown, come to Baxter Street, right off the or right off Canal for the best sponge cake in town. Cam Hing Bakery. Best sponge cake in town. It's a family-owned bakery and they have the best sponge cake. We're gonna go inside the best. The best sponge cake. It's a hidden gem of New York City. And they're only a dollar each. I like the original flavor, but they also have black sesame flavor, coconut, chocolate chip, and banana of their And these, look at the adorable caricatures. Um, th those represent the family. Those are the different family members that they made like little sponge cakes. Isn't it the cutest? That's the Cam, Cam Hing sponge cake family on the wall. <laughs> adorable, right? Yeah. <laughs> look at the, look at this one. He's like he's like oh I'm tired like Papa Sponge. You know he's got he's got the briefcase. You know he's tired. He's got the he's got the pocket protector. You know to protect his pens. He's just like I've been working hard to try to you know to send the kids to, to school. Working hard. And look at Granny. Granny's Granny's walking the the sponge cake dog. This is the best spot in Chinatown. Best sponge cake. Family owned. You gotta help. Come support them. Baxter Street, just off Canal. It's a true gem. As we speak, they bake 
uh, I don't even know how many a day. I mean, lots, lots. <laughs> You see them all, fresh. They're extra good. It doesn't matter what flavor you get, they're all good, but I, I just, I'm a fan of the original, I, I gotta say. They they sell out of some of the flavors, so you gotta come you gotta come here early. You can also get drinks, you know, like uh, different fruit drinks, teas, Hong Kong milk tea. No, this isn't the jiggle cheesecake. No, we, that's that's a different that's a different place. This that's the Kiki place. It's kind of like the like a uh, angel food cake, you know. Like if you're if you're American and you're not familiar with the, the with the kind of like an flavors of the day, they they change the flavors for the day. They definitely had they have um I've had their green tea flavor. Their green tea flavor is extra good, but I I I still like the original. See, they sold out, so she's, she's taking it away. That sold out of Black Sesame. Sold out. It's now, we're, we're down to original, guys. Lucky, lucky I wanted original. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not upset. So there it is, Kamhing Bakery. I'm giving you all the info you can. Hi, can I help you? Hi, um, do you have the um, three, three, four, whatever special? No, it's not, we don't have any more promotion anymore. Oh, okay, now you have the $10 a dozen. Yeah, that, that's the only promotion Right, that's have. fine. I, I'm going to get three anyway. Three? So, yeah, I'm going to get three original. Okay, do you want uh, three hot ones or do you want to eat it now? Or? Uh, if you have one hot one, I'll take one hot and, and the rest I'll eat later. Now. Thank you. Thank you for asking. That's sweet. So on now, save two for later. Oh, she's getting it out of the oven nice and hot for us. Oh, we're so lucky. I feel very lucky. Hi. James, it just came out of the oven. So we have to have one now. And then we we'll save two for later. What do you think? Nice. Oh, yeah. I got three. Nice. Three sponge. Oh. Shea oh, Shea. my God. Oh, my God. It smells so good. Guys. Big Shea Shea oh. to Cam Hing. Oh. Oh, oh Smell-O-Vision. Yeah. Let me give them a smell. Oh, just my God. Oven. It just yeah, came yeah. out of the oven. So nice. good. We're so lucky. Yeah. We, we came just at the right time. We hit it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Look at this, guys. Oh, it's a beautiful sponge. The sponge cake, best, only a dollar. The best bargain dollar in Chinatown. Dollar for a sponge cake, guys. All right, ready? Here we go. Here, wait, let's get me in the back. Box. Yeah, yeah. No, best sponge cake in town. Here we go. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm gonna I'm going in. Hey. It's raining in North Carolina. Oh my God. That's not yet here. Oh, oh, it's good, James, right? you've never had one hot from oh, the oven. Bless you. Wait, let's give a piece to Hudson. Yeah. Hudson eats before James, you know okay, that. Now take a nice bite. It's hot. You it's extra good hot. Mm. Oh man. Oh my god, I'm thinking I might want to go back for more now. Sweet Jesus. Guys, best sponge cake in town, no lie. Oh my god. Even nicer hot out of the oven. T.A. Tickler said a dollar, but after New York taxes, it's seven bucks. <laughs> no, no, it's just a dollar. Robert Parker, ten dollars. Oh, my Another God. Another contribution, courtesy of my wife, Adisa. Ad oh, thank you, Robert. Thanks, Robert and Adisa. Mm. James, look. Yes, Elliot. Carla's been wearing the New York. The, uh, the El hat. Super thank Elliot. Thank you, yes. Elliot. Yeah. James, have another, have another bite. You have to. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Mm. Uh. 
It's so good, warm. Oh, yeah. We've never had one warm. Right. You can extra, get authentic extra. sponge cake right here. Or you could go across the street, wait in line, and pay like nine fifty for some other stuff. So you know we're gonna go with the original. All right, last bite for James. Mm. Oh man. Oh my God. Tam Hing, well, best sponge cake. Best sponge cake. It is the best sponge cake. It is, and only a dollar. I just, I just had one. Yeah. Just fresh out of the oven. One dollar. <sighs> Look, I'm 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 part of their sales force now. Yeah, it's amazing. Best sponge cake. Best sponge cake. The the original flavor is right out of the oven right now. <laughs> oh, Elliot says Maggie has to have an ultrasound in two weeks. Her liver has some issues. Oh, Elliot, we're wishing you the best for. Oh, uh, best wishes for Maggie. We we know she can do this. Hudson's saying. Maggie's Hudson, got this. Hudson says Maggie's got this. Elliot. He's got his ghost, his fire department. Elliot, um, Hudson is is saying uh, Maggie got one this. One. You want another hot one? Yeah. What do you think? All right. Is it a big line? I know. No. One more hot one. We have right. a two for later. All right. I'm going back in, guys. Carla's going back in. Whoa, Hudson. Hudson. There we go. Got him. Guys, right across from Most Precious Blood Church, where they do the feast, is involved with the Feast of San Gennaro. You know that? Getting one more. Yes, Nick G, we got the, from Jamal, the Madonna American Life Peter Rawhoffer tribute. We got the U2. Old versions of Sunday Bloody Sunday and such. And the new version off the four record set we got at home. And Jamal says he even tucked aside a Larry Levon. He was too busy to get all that out for us before. He was swamped when we were there earlier, Nick G. And it was just fantastic. You see they have the little caricatures of sponge cake in there. Best sponge cake in town. But yeah, that's what we ended up with, Nick G. And we're looking also for the record store day, Chet Baker. The blue, you know. Holy catnip, my tongue is on the floor. It's like we're in the hot donuts now. Yeah. Yeah, they're hot sponge cake out there. Carla ran in and got one more for us. She's going to come out. We're going to eat one more. Yeah, a little cup of tea or coffee, Dolores, forget it. Right, fantastic. Best sponge cake in town. Here's the building it's in. Cam Hing. Oh my God, another hot one. Another Guys, hot one. How can we not? They're filing in there to get their sponge cakes. The hot sponge cake. smell o vision All right, here we go, here we go again, ready? Let me hey, the shift manager saying hi from Illinois. James, which is the best uh, backdrop? Right over here. Okay. Right over here. Best sponge cake in town. Yeah, Can hey, hang. Shrubby, Joe Burgess. Nick G asked what we ended up with. I told him the three stuff that Jamal put aside for us. He was just mm -hmm. too busy. Mm -hmm. He was swamped, Nick G, to pull them all out. Have another big He's, bite. Yeah, I'm going to have a big oh, bite. Oh, wait, I'm going to give a Hudson a piece first. Yeah, Hudson always gets before me. Always make sure you feed your Hudson before, you know. It's so good, uh, fresh, hot. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. It's like angel food cake consistency, guys. So light and airy. JD here shouting out to Sponge Cake Whipped Cream and Strawberries. Mm. Oh, now you're on a whole nother level, JD here. Hey, Jill Crystal says it's blurry. I got your focus now, Jill Crystal. Oh, no. Look, you got to see that, Jill Crystal. If you're blurry. I feel bad for you because this is great stuff, big time stuff. Take another gotta, bite, try James. Try to get the focus, yeah. You're fine, James. There we are. Let me have another bite. Oh, mm. oh man. Sweet Jesus. It's irresistible. You can't just have one. Boutros, Boutros, golly. We try just to have one and you can't. No. You just can't. Mm. Ah, one more for Huds. All right, last bite for you, James. Ah, uh, going in gladly. 
stuff it in. Mm, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Nick G said this place is five minutes from the Bari Hotel. Nick G, we gotta bring you over here. Oh my God, Nick G, this is it. We gotta this bring you it. over here. You, you just pound the sponge cake. And you can get tea and everything here too. That's it's not just just sponge cake, but you can sit down and. But that's what the James comes for. Exactly, exactly. So let me take this. Jimmy again. likes the sponge cake. Oh my God, guys. I mean, this was fantastic, and. We got Boutros, Boutros, golly. We got sponge cakes for later, guys. Sponge cakes for later. Sponge cakes for later. Eat some now. Save some so for later. later. Hey, Steve Miller. Can't wait to dip that in my coffee. You got it, Steve oh, Miller. Oh, extra good. So listen, guys. We had such a fun day. We started off supporting independently owned record stores. Village Revival, Jamal. Village Revival. The going crazy over there. that we saw today that yeah. still has Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. If you want it. Yep. Yeah. Plus, we saw, uh, he had the Pearl Jam there. He had the Cure. He had everything. Everything, like always. Like always. So, guys, happy Earth Day. Happy Record Store Day. We hope, we hope you enjoyed our walk showing, yes, the Ghostbuster Firehouse, all the architectural gems of not only Greenwich Village and Soho, but also Tribeca. We hit so many great places. I mean, I can't even believe it. And the American Express building. I'm like trying to remember all the fantastic things we saw. Nick G um, said, thanks, guys. Let's get to this place. Hey, Rolo. Oh, definitely, Six, nine, Nick three, G. Two. We definitely Thanks, everybody. Will. Remember, yeah. if you're feeling it, subscribe. It's free. Yeah, and give, please give this video a thumbs up. And listen, guys, thank you so much for the super chats and super Yeah, you guys stickers. are the best. Best Hudson chat. Hudson got his hot dog. Best chat on YouTube, yeah. guys. And we'll see you guys on Monday afternoon for our continuation the last of the Mondays for Hudson's birthday celebration. Yeah, let's say thanks, Robbie. Bye.